Hey guys, it's Rocco here and welcome back to the channel. Today's podcast of spaces is probably one of the most important ones that I've done since being part of this Luna Classic community. In today's podcast, guys, we've got Leonardo from Ceramic Team who will be talking to us about the USTC Repeg plan. They launched their USTC white paper a couple of days ago. In this video, guys, we explain to you what it is, what it's going to do, and also take questions from a lot of the important people in the community. So make sure you watch the video till the end. There will be a smaller uh, summary video coming out in the channel. So if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification button. If you want to support the channel, guys, do hit that like button and subscribe. The plan that we'll be discussing to swap all the USTC to USTY and restart the supply of USTC at zero and build a over collateralized algorithmic stable coin. Let's get into the video and if you have any questions do comment below I read and reply to every comment and if you don't have a comment just put a thumbs up put Luna Classic to the moon let's repay USTC or just a thumbs up it really helps the channel out. So without further ado enjoy the video I'll catch you guys next video with the summary. Good evening, everyone. Hope you all having a very good weekend. Welcome to another Weekly Spaces. We've got Leonardo here today who will be talking to us about the white paper that he released on the USTC Repeg. Hopefully we have Lunatech joining. If any of you know where he is, if you could message him, Jewish Protocol was meant to co-host with me, but he's not here. Um, my also regular speaker, Rexy's not here, but we have got red line, so let me invite him to speak. And then Leonardo, if you request to speak, um, I'll bring you up on as well. Usually we start talking about Bitcoin and uh, Luna Classic News and then USDC Repeg. If you have got time, we'll follow the normal schedule, talk about Bitcoin, Luna Classic, and then the USDC Repeg. But if you're short on time, uh, let me know. I can bring you up straight away. So guys, Bitcoin is breaking into new all-time highs. Uh, really bullish what we saw, what happened uh, with the Trump win. Crypto market literally mooned. Uh, Bitcoin now breaking out into new all-time highs. This is a pattern we've seen quite a lot where the price comes to near all-time highs. We saw it back in around 20k, uh, price was hovering around 20k for I think three, four weeks. And then we had that big breakout. Uh, here, we didn't even consolidate for longer than two weeks. And uh, the price is breaking out. It's also pulling a lot of altcoins, you know, Dogecoin's up 30%. Cardano, I don't know why I've not been following Cardano. That's up 25%. Some meme coins up even more. Um, Luna Classic is not pumped as much. But it has, well, it has, while some uh, talking on the spaces, um, it has, uh, it is pumping in the last few hours, um, but not as much as some of the uh, other coins. But it has broken out um, as long as we hold above that sort of not point triple zero one level. I'd expect to see um, Luna Classic, the, my next level is not point triple zero one seven. So big move for Luna Classic coming as well. And hopefully, if we can get the USCC repeg narrative going, uh, we can see some upward movement for USTC as well. In terms of Juris, um, the development's going to start 5th or 4th of December. Um, we had LL69 confirm it. I don't know where he is today, so we won't be able to get an update. But we did speak. Uh, we had a team meeting um, earlier. Uh, Redline joined as well, where I where we talked. But I'm not sure where he he is today. So that's quick intro. Uh, Leonardo is here. Um, Leonardo, how are you doing? I'm doing okay. If you can hear me. Yes, I can hear you clearly. Uh, another <laughs> Englishman. That is first time I'm speaking to you. I wasn't expecting you to be English for some reason. I don't know why. Oh, I posso parlare italiano, se tu vuoi parlare italiano, ma, you know, but I'm English, I'm English, English Italian. Oh, wow, that's a big mix. <laughs> <laughs> a mix, yeah, a mix, so uh, it's good, yeah, no, it's good, I'm, I'm glad I, yeah, I'm glad everyone can hear me speak, and uh, I'm glad to be on, I'm glad you invited me, so thank you very much. Yes, well, if, you got, if you've been following me, I've been trying to help anyone that's got anything good to do with uh, the USTC since the lunar crash. It's been uh, lots of pain. Um, there's been, you know, Redline and Fafi team tried it. Alex previously tried it. So I've always tried, you know, big, uh, people always say, oh, why are you supporting them? But um, try to give people the benefit of the doubt. Try to support them. Use my platform to, you know, share the, the message that you're doing. And if we can, again, if we can repeg, amazing. If we can just get the narrative going, get people working together, thinking, that will be a win uh, for me. So, uh, Leonardo, 
Um, do you want to give us a bit of your background? Yeah. Well, 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 well much, yeah. I mean, background. oh, sorry. Ap apologies. I, 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 I just want to. I just want to. Um, I guess get my points across first, and then I can open it up. You know, to questions and stuff. Um, just to follow on from the points that you made earlier on, right? It's not easy. Okay, a repeg's not easy. It's complex. Uh, how many years has it been? You know, since uh, you know, it's two years, still not repegged. Um, now, you know, when I put this proposal together, uh, when I announced it, it was on the twenty eighth of September. Yeah, um, that's when I put the schedule together. Uh, you know, we're now on uh, this. Well, it's it's what the tenth uh, of November, and it's just us, right? There's nothing else that's kind of tangible that's man that's manifesting itself and that's kind of a testament to say that you know this isn't an easy job so um i just want to say that okay that that uh the the structure of the timeline i just want to cover off the timeline okay because uh you know to give you some method to madness because it's not i guess what people would normally uh e expect you know normally it's a case of you have a proposal you know it's discussed on commonwealth it goes to a vote three weeks two weeks bang it's either passed or failed yeah um this is a very very different beast okay this is because it's quite complex so when we put this proposal to so when we put the timeline together um you know there's certain factors that that we had to had to take into account uh number one okay it was important that we had proper community discussion okay and this is at, at two levels at my level okay which is the you know the investor level but then also at a technical level as well okay which is at a ceramic level and that's why we we've structured the way we've structured it so we could allow for uh you know proper debate and and discussion um and, and that's been really really good so far because you know since we announced on the 28th there we kind of started working on it but we've also had a ton of input from the community as well okay that input has gone into the theory white paper um and even before you know we're about to have the commonwealth di discussion so going down to another layer of uh, detail um you know we've already had input on that so you know the common so the white paper that you see and that you've read okay i can tell you is going to change yeah and, and it's going to change for the better and that's down from you know and that's down to the uh, the input that we've had from the uh, community uh you know which is amazing um another point that i want to make okay which again is a you know is a positive it's a shout out to the community okay is you know the way the timeline is structured the way it is okay it's resource yeah i mean you know there's only myself and ceramic working on this um as you guys can already see right we have put a ton of work in, into this uh you know but it's 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 kind of like not enough i mean you, you can't do this with uh, two people and you know the way the community has has responded and uh, supported it's been amazing i mean for instance you know the theory paper is quite a detailed technical paper now there's a lot of information there because uh, we wanted to show you okay the level of research that we did okay to be able to come up with this proposition and uh you know for many it's just gone way over their head right okay but for others right they can digest it and they've digested it and they fed back and it's brilliant okay because uh like i say you're going to see some changes to it now okay what's going to happen okay uh you know we're going to have a commonwealth discussion um it's in parallel to what's happening on x it's going to be technically orientated it's going to be hosted by ceramic okay so i'm mr general investor uh you know ceramic is the um you know he's he's the architect right okay he's the genius behind this uh proposal uh, we then move on to imp implementation. Yeah, again, it's going to be the same process. Okay, uh, you know, we'll announce it. We then have a Commonwealth discussion. And then off the back of that, okay, we come up with a repeg proposal. That then goes to voting. It votes. It's a yes or a no. If it's a yes, absolutely fantastic. Okay, we're on our way to a repeg. Uh, if it's no, then, you know, we, we res respect governance. Yeah i mean you know ceramic ceramic will move on and i go back into my you know in, into the lunk ranks right i'm not selling um 
<laughs> you know, Lung for me, okay, is my, I mean, it's my third bear market now. It's my fourth, sorry, it's my third bull market now. Uh, my second was uh, Dogecoin. Okay, that was my big bet. Um, and, you know, this one is Lunk, right? I believe that, you know, Lunk and uh, USTC, okay, are, uh, are going to do very, very well in this coming bull run. Hence the reason why, you know, I've been around for a couple of years and why, okay, for me, it's not a waste of time, okay, putting all the work that I have, uh, you know, to, to bring this proposal to uh, fruition. So, you know, that's the structure of the, uh, of, of the uh, timeline. I mean, we basically did it, okay, because, you know, we wanted community input. Okay, not just a, oh, let's, let's just listen to the community. Yeah, okay, tick, move on. You know, you already shaped the uh, pr proposal and in all essence, right? Okay, you know, we work for the community, right? This is a community initiative. Yeah, the job's complex. Um, I think no one disputes that. Okay, and the discussions, yeah, they kind of like need to happen at, at, at two levels, you know, an, an investor level and uh, a, uh, you know, detailed te technical level. So, um, that's the timeline. Can you guys hear me all right? Yeah, can hear you Yes, yes, we can. Thank God I wasn't talking to myself for five minutes then, right? Um, <laughs> so that's what I wanted to get, you know, so that's what I wanted to get to get a, 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 across, right? I mean, we have like, I mean, you know, there's the white paper, uh, you know, we've got a Q&A, okay? Uh, I'm going to be working on a Q&A for the, uh, you know, for the theory paper as well um and like i say you know we're at, we're at, we're at, we're at, i guess you know we're at, we're at stage one right we're right at the beginning of this process yeah and um you know so i can i can understand why i'm getting comments like well where's the plan you've got the theory where's the plan where's the plan well you need to define the theory before you come up with a plan and that's what we're currently going through uh at at the, at the moment we have an idea Okay, just like we have an idea with the theory paper, but you know, we need to discuss it with the community, we need to get input. Okay, we need to get, you know, so we can basically, you know, plan, okay, uh, and, and come up with a proper implementation plan. Does that make sense? Yes, yes, it does. No, thanks for explaining the process. Um, I think that you had a timeline post, I'm sure I've seen in one of your posts, where you talked about that you're going to make this proposal implementation plan governance vote so yeah hopefully um, it clarifies uh, the people that were trying to understand what's happening yeah great and it's all on track yeah we're all on track you know so you know there's there's, there's no slippage uh every, everything's going according to plan um yeah so you know so so keep the feedback flowing and um let's just open it up to questions that's all i wanted to say Okay, no, thanks, Leonardo. Um, well, maybe I'll ask the first. Well, I'll ask the first question. What? How do you explain that in like few words? Um, so, what is this repex? How it's going to work? How could you explain it in you know a couple of minutes for someone that's a investor, not a technical guy? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, okay, then. Uh, okay, what we do, okay, is uh, step one. Okay, there's a conversion, yeah, which is uh, USTC to USTY uh why do we do that well okay the objective of the proposal is to come up with a an over collateralized stable coin now what that means okay is that you have to collateralize you have to i can't even get the word out you have to collateralize everything yeah so uh lit and literally okay a basic level imagine for every one dollar you have to have one dollar sixty in reserve yeah in case things go bankrupt, in case everyone decides to withdraw at exactly the same time. Now with USDC, okay, that's, it's dead. It's a wreck, right? I mean, we don't even know, right? I mean, how many, how much UTC is there, you know, in the chain, okay, that is dead. It's untouchable, yeah? It's on dead wallets, dormant wallets, zomb zombie wallets. We don't know. Well, you have to self collateralize that. You have to collateralize the whole lot. So, okay, by changing it to, um, you know, uh, by changing it to, uh, what is it, USTY, okay, then, uh, you know, you allow for options, right? You allow for a conversion to uh, USTC, okay, and then you also allow, uh, you know, for, I guess, 
opportunities, right? Okay, uh, you know, for the investor, because for instance, you know, you you can stake, um, you know, like USTC. I mean, you 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 can do more with it than you can. So you can do more. You can do more with USTY than you can with, uh, you know, USTC. Okay, so that's step one. It's the conversion. Yeah. Step two. Okay, the way the CMM, okay, has been structured. Yeah, um, it's designed to actually, uh, you know, to not over to not only over collateralize. Okay, but also start generating revenue. Yeah, and that's in conjunction with a collateral basket okay that um you know appreciates in value okay that appreciation is higher than inflation um, and that generates a profit and that profit is uh you know given to uh investors so okay it's uh so usty is a bridge okay for us to be able to build a collateralized or an over collateralized stable coin the other benefit of this okay is uh you know we want to build something okay which at some point okay it can be compliant yeah it can be compliant with all the different you know like regulations that um are starting to establish themselves at a global level mika for instance right mika that just represents uh you know the european union right okay there, at some point there'll be something in the us okay there are other jurisdictions yeah okay they'll have their own different uh regulations now okay if it's USTC, okay uh then as in USTC today forget it yeah you're never ever going to get that to comply uh you know with any of the uh with any of the regulatory bodies and that's what we want so um yeah so in summary okay in layman's terms okay this is our route to a uh you know one dollar usgc stable coin um so i have a question if you don't mind me asking so where does the collateral come from for the system is it like a cdp style loan based system or are, are we selling the tokens or how does it work say well, that's what, that's, getting the plan, right? yeah 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 that's that's what we're, that's we're in the process of finalizing now right that's going to be covered off uh you know in the kind of like the implementation right okay where the funding is going to come from now we'll need some external funding okay obviously you know um you know to go into this this uh collateral to go into the cmm now you know that that funding i mean it's a key point right because the bigger the funding the more you can mint okay the more it, it can grow and uh you know that's something that uh you know we're in the process of currently figuring out we have there's no there's there's, there's no specific you know there's there's no specific conf confirmation of where all that uh of where the source is going to come from okay just that that'd be kind of an important part of it wouldn't it well that'd be a fundamental important that'll be a very very crucial inform important part because unlike the current mmm right okay which is based on uh you know price volatility and so on okay this is going to be based on you know collateralization on the collateralized assets okay that are going to be picked that are going to generate a profit that are going to help grow the uh ecosystem you're right okay so but what i can't do even if we use some of the community pool now and we fund say there's half a million there and we use that to initially start off say and and we mint out USTC so say more people want to buy it how how do you grow from there where does clatter come from to if you want to grow to expand say? well you well okay you you could incent you can incentivize the investor to you know to uh participate in the collateral pool so they would uh you know like um you know loan give us a loan okay you know make an investment in, in, into that pool uh that gets locked up they earn a reward um they could even for instance like uh potentially okay just uh not actually loan us the amount of, you know like like i don't know like two btc for instance they could loan us the interest that they would earn off of two btc and that could go into the pool um you know there's there's a number of different options right that's in the process of being finalized now you know and i know i'd like you know, I'd love to turn around to say, yeah, this is exactly what we're going to do. But, you know, it's it's not it's not ready for uh, 
well, it's not. We're not really ready to go into tons of detail about it yet. Okay, fair enough. Um, yeah, no, like I'm looking forward to seeing when you when you do have that worked out. Yeah, but you you can ask as well, right? I mean, like you know, ceramics going to be on the uh, you know he he's going to start the come off discussion uh, in in four days and so on. Now there'll be a lot of overlap, okay, between your you know between the question that 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 you've asked, okay, between the um, the theory, okay, and also the uh, in, 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 in implementation. So you know, I I encourage you to sort of go on there and ask, right? I mean, every question we've had so far, we've answered, right? So it's not like we we've been avoiding the uh, topic. I mean, we have a massive list, right, of uh, Q and A's, okay, that we put together in this past month. Well, they've all been community questions, right? So it's not like we're you know ducking the answer or anything. Uh, you know, we just want to be in a position to give factual information, yeah. And that's what people are looking for now because you know we've had a month of discussion we put everything together we're pulling it together we're still getting input uh, but we have a timeline to work to yeah and that timeline ultimately okay it's going to be what the 12th of december the 12th of december it's going to go to a vote and um yeah and then people are going to make a decision you know based on all the data that they have to hand that's the key day and that's what we're working to Okay, just just without knowing, you know how you're going to develop. Like, like there's a yeah. number of ways you can do it, but you're talking about designing vastly different systems depending on what way you go with it. If that makes sense. Yeah, this finalized. Yeah, 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 yeah. And those systems, right? Okay, and 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 they're there. I mean, you know that that's something that um, you know ceramics been working on for a while now, and also as well. Okay, those systems. Yeah, they're not. You know, they exist already. OK, because if people look at, um, you know, the whole, uh, you know, CZ Zodiac, right? OK, the whole, you know, DeFi ecosystem, OK, that he's created. I mean, you know, I mean, I'm actually part of that system. Yeah, I mean, I'm one of his projects, right? OK, me and him, I mean, I've known him for three years now. OK, um, we, we created a rewards token, right? It's called Dodge God, which is part of the CZ Zodiac, um, you know, ecosystem. Um, you know, and that's, and that's, uh, what can I say? I mean, you know, so for instance, I mean, that is paired to, uh, that's, that, that's paired to CZUSD, which is a stable coin, which is a stable coin that he created. Okay. To be able to, uh, add, you know, to be, to be able to be the liquidity for the number of projects that he's got in the ecosystem. Well, okay. He maintains a peg okay for cz usd now it's a very very different peg uh you know to what we're uh pr proposing here okay because that peg is specifically okay to support you know the uh, projects okay in his ecosystem yeah they're basically tribes right okay and um you know that means that the mechanisms for the peg um you know are very very different but okay that peg generate but okay that mechanism generates a profit that's the point I was trying to make. So, for instance, OK, if you look at my project specifically, OK, which is an alternative to Dogecoin mining. OK, now that that generates Dogecoin, OK, from a transactional tax. OK, so, you know, just like a rewards token and so on. But then also as well, OK, the, the profit, OK, that um, that that repeg system, OK, um, delivers that goes towards those projects as well. So me specifically, what that means, okay, is uh, there's const there's an, an additional level of buy pressure being applied to my project. Yeah. So what happens is is the profit that uh, is currently being made with CZUSD, okay, it just gets split between the different trice pools and it goes in, you know, to help develop their projects. Yeah. Now, okay, what will happen in this case, okay, with um, you know, CZ USD, sorry, with uh with USTC, okay, is that profit could be, you know, it's just like the white paper says, right? That profit can you can can be used uh, you know, to fund different elements of it. Now there needs to be an incentive, right? There needs to be a reason, okay. There needs to, you know, we 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 don't have the liquidity, okay, to be able to do this on day one, you know, and completely. OK, but what we need to do is we need to be able to build a system, OK, that we can build upon. Yeah, a system that's safe, secure. OK, and, um, you know, is uh, it's robust enough, OK, to be able to, uh, you know, to be able to grow. I mean, this is one of the things, OK, that, 
you know, is taking time with this stuff, right? Is, you know, the CMM pool, for instance, right? That will eventually have, you know, billions of dollars in it. Yeah, that's a shit ton of money, right? Okay, that's not up for one developer. That's that's a team of developers. Uh, it needs to be properly decentralized. The code needs to be audited. Uh, you know, there's a number of different factors, okay, that, you know, need to be implemented to make it happen. Now, here's one thing for you, right? Okay, with CZUSD, okay, when that launched as a stable coin, uh, I think after the first month, it, it was exploited, right? It, it, it crashed, yeah? It, it crashed, okay? Well, the exploit was fixed, okay? And it took six months, yeah, for people that lost, okay, to, uh, you know, to be made whole again. And since then, okay, you know, it's been attacked a number of times, right? It's just, it's just crypto. But in each time, okay, it's it's maintained it's it's you know it's maintained it's 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 peg, yeah. The level that it was designed to 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 be maintained at. You know, and that's no easy task, right? Okay, and you know, and that's the thing that I'll say, okay, when people review, you know, the uh, you know, the information that we pull together, when they review, you know, ceramics history, when they review uh CZ Zodiac, right? They need to look at the charts, yeah. I mean the charts don't lie, right? You look at, you know, like see you look at USTC today i mean you know since the exploit okay which is what 3 years ago it's it's it, it's kept its peg right it, it's doing exactly what it's been designed to do um you know and that's true for the other projects as well yeah i mean my project right uh you know it's a it's a revolve it you know my project's been running now for what two and a half years yeah it's, it's fine the dapps been running for two and a half years it's been ticking away doing its thing um, it's been attacked of course it's been attacked uh several times uh you know but um it's been fine okay because of you know how it's designed and by the fact that you know you don't you don't you don't just design and walk away from it okay you have to design and you have to maintain it as well you know and that's the other thing uh you know with this proposal right okay it's the fact that you don't just create and walk away okay you create it and it's a start you know it, it's it's something which is going to be um you know an ongoing uh initiative now uh the thing that i will say right okay is um if we didn't if we didn't think it was possible then um we would be here actually you know is is the reality of the situation yeah if we didn't firmly believe okay that um you know that we could achieve it that you know it's something that that we could do then um you know we wouldn't even be here yeah because of the, you know i mean the thing is right okay is you know redline right okay you know you're part of the quant team right yeah 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 right okay right okay now okay um you know that was a big job right that 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 was a big job you had to do like an an an, an analysis of it right the community paid you for your work right okay i'm not disputing that okay because you know people you know this stuff doesn't happen for free right okay that that's i'm i'm not disputing that for one second right okay what i'm saying is right okay is um it is it, it's you know there's an element of money here involved right and like you know and kind of like resource that needs to be invested in it and um it takes time yeah it's like so what we're proposing right is an infrastructure investment yeah is is a long-term investment Okay, what we're proposing is to be able to build a system, okay, that is going to be robust enough to be able to, you know, to be able to grow, okay, as, you know, to be able to grow as, you know, LUNC and USDC grows. Yeah. And uh, what I'm saying is, okay, is, um, what am I saying? I'm starting to sidetrack here. What I'm saying is, um, you know, we need, you know, the proposal is going to, going to kind of cover it off. Yeah, I suppose like really we just need a bit more specifics as to how it's yeah. actually going to operate, if that yeah. makes sense. Yeah, know. you do. No, no. Yeah, you, you, you do, you know, and that's something, you know, and I'm not turning around to you saying, no, you don't. No, you don't. No, we've given you enough. I'm, I'm, I'm agreeing with you and I'm saying, okay, that it's part of the process. But I'm saying to people, okay, that are listening to this, right, is just go with the flow, yeah? Just, just, just acknowledge the process, right? Okay, you know, your questions will be answered. Yeah, and guess what? If they're not answered, okay, then when this proposal goes to a vote, okay, it's not going to be good enough and it's going to fail. Okay, it fails. We move on. You know, but it's a process.
No, yeah, like you know, I, I took a quick look at CZ, CZUSD. Um, I know you said that's kind of different, all right? Um, no, like I, I'm looking forward to seeing how it's done, basically. Um, so, so I think we just need more specifics as to how it's going to operate before anybody, you know, before we can make an informed decision on it as a community, basically. Oh, 100 percent. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. You do. Absolutely. At, at the moment, see, at, at, at the moment, OK, it's all about the theory, right? We have a process to go through. The theory will impact the implementation right now. OK, you know, we're halfway through it. OK, you know, the implementation, OK, the white paper gets released on what, the 21st of November. You know, that's when the discussion start. Yeah. Up until then, OK, then, you know, we'll then we'll take all the feedback that we can, uh, you know, from the community. Right. Because, like I say, OK, you know, the theory impacts, you know, the implementation. So, you know, keep the feedback flowing. Right. I mean, we've had like a, a ton of feedback already. Um, I would say, you know, people listening and so on, then, you know, I mean, we, you know, we don't, we take it on board, right? I mean, you know, Redline, right? I mean, you know, we've had like discussions, I guess. Yeah. And I, I guess I've, I've responded to everything you've said. So. Yeah, no, you have. Probably... Um, no, no, I don't say that in that way. It's just that, like, I think as a community before people can make a decision we need to know whether it's a cdp style system whether we're selling tokens do you know what i mean we, we need it to exactly. specifically know what's going to happen do you know even from a theoretical point of view that's missing there at the moment say like we understand that there's collateral pool and that but how the collateral comes there that's a fundamental part of how this is going to work basically yeah. so we, we need to see that yeah do you, do you know and, and i'm looking forward to seeing it yeah, great. <laughs> I'm looking forward to telling, to showing you. Yeah, great. Okay. Okay. Um, so did you, you mentioned CZ uh, USD. Um, it, it, what's the Twitter account for it? I'll I'll read into it as well, and the community can look into it as well. The Twitter account. What for, you, for the uh, CZ Zodiac and stuff? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I'll forward that to you uh, after the call if that's okay. Uh, yeah, if you DM it to me, I'll be interested in looking into it. Yeah, no problem. Um, and then, so the USTC is going to be the new uh, over collateralized algorithmic stablecoin. What's the purpose of USTY? Well, USTY is almost like a bridge, okay? What you're doing, okay, at top level, I mean, there's a lot of value, right, in USTC today. What you're doing, okay, is you're filtering through the crap. Okay, you know, the zombie wallets, yeah, the USC, you're filtering through the crap and you're taking the value and you're putting it into, uh, you know, the new USTC. That's what it is. Okay, I mean, USTY is going to be around forever, right? Because there's USTY, you know, there's UST that is locked in the blockchain that's never, ever going to go. Okay. Okay, well, I've I've read the proposal and I've, I've linked to YouTube video. I tried to <laughs> limit it to 10 minutes, but it took me over 20 minutes to sort of share my thoughts. A um, lot of the questions I was going to ask Redline have asked already. Um, uh, those questions on technical details, which you said is going to be coming out later. Um, he mentioned about growing collateral as well. I think that's, a, especially with over collateralized uh, stable coins, it's really hard, it's harder to grow them. Um, you mentioned potentially looking for outside investments. Yeah, there needs to be an incentive, right? There needs to be like an an an, an, an incentive for that, and um, yeah, that's that's something that you know we're looking at. We're also looking at uh, you know the option of like I said, okay, where you know someone's not actually uh, they're not really giving us a well, they are giving us a loan, but what they're doing, okay, is they're giving us the interest, right? So you know they might have like two or three BTC, okay, they put it towards the collateral basket. Uh, but what they put towards the basket is the interest they earn off of that um, two or three BTC, if that makes sense. So, you know, so there's, there's, there's a number of options, right? OK, um, there's also a tax as well. OK, a small amount of tax that gets applied, OK, with transactions. OK, well, that that tax uh, will go towards the collateral pool as well. Um, you know, it's not huge. OK, but, um, you know, it's one of these like, you know, small small you know small transactional taxes that over time okay and transactions just you know increases the amount as well 
yes, no, I think that would be difficult, but yeah, given incentivizing it would, would help us anyway. Um, in terms of utility as well, so when US, one of the main reasons UST went crazy is like the anchor protocol and, and the 20% rewards, and I'm not suggesting we do that. Um, Juris, Terraport, uh, Selenium, they're going to give, you know, the stable coin a use case people can go borrow against it. But what have you thought about other utilities, like give people a reason to to buy uh, this new, new stable coin? Um. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, similar. I mean, they're similar. Uh, you know, I mean, why would people buy? I mean, why would people buy? Okay, people were buying USDC before what? Because of the in, because of the interest that they earn on it. Yeah. The the twenty percent on anchor, right? That's yeah, what yeah, yeah, every, yeah, yeah. Every yeah, which was fixed. Is. Which was fixed, right? Which is fixed. Uh, okay, and ultimately, what unsustainable? Would you say? Yeah, looking back, right? We should have all seen it coming. But it was nice. Definitely right? not say it. But it was but it was nice. So yeah, I mean there'll be like, you know, there'll be there'll be incentives, right? Okay, there'll be incentives. I mean, you know, what what you're doing it's almost like like lunk, right? Okay. There's an you know, there'll be incentives that are geared around the whole um, you know, the whole uh, you know, new USTC. I mean, if you want to feel for it, okay um you know what i'll do rocco right is when i say the links and so on i'll um i'll show you all the different you know I'll, I'll give you an idea of all the other um you know parts of the ecosystem right um you know in the cz zodiac site so you can farm you can admit you know there's a whole load of different things okay that you can do um you know to um you know to earn some income there'll be options but ultimately it's a stable coin right as opposed to, you know, just, just like any other stable coin. Um, my other question was about the teams. So you mentioned uh, you're like the investor, uh, I guess, and you've founded a project before. Um, could you share more details on, on the people working it? Because I think that's one of the questions people are asking. It's all great, you know, some of the monetary discussions. I love that. I've, you know, I'm a big reader of Ray Dalio stuff, uh, monetary supply, inflation, printing money. I love that stuff. Um, so I love the theory that you're explaining. Um, but I think people are asking, the obviously, the technical details and also can a team deliver it in a safe way? Can they do all the analysis? Is there going to be scenarios showing, you know, if this much BTC gets sold at this price, what happens? Um, so, yeah, could you talk about, a bit more about the team? Okay, what well, the team, that will be under ceramic, right? Um, that will yeah, deliver that will into yes. reality. Well, okay, that needs to be defined, right? I mean, that needs to be defined. Um, you know, there was a team in place, okay, or there were people in place. Um, you know, they've now moved on, I guess, is the best way to put it. Um, you know, so, uh, you know, there are gaps, right? There are gaps, yeah. But those 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 gaps are like, uh, you know, there's something called uh, GitHub, right? Um, you know, there is, you know, GitHub, okay, you, know, you, you could potentially pull people in to do those, those jobs. So um, that's a work in progress at, at, at the moment. So... You know, I can't, I can't give any names out yet of who's going to be working with ceramic on this repeg because um, it's not been fully defined yet. Okay, because um, I mean, LL69 or Rexy can correct me, but I, th I think there was a prop passed before that people working on sort of the L1 at least, or I'm assuming USTC would fall under the category working on the MM module would be fully KYC'd to get like paper jobs. Um, so is that the plan to be fully KYC'd for that team that's working on it? Oh, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, yeah, I mean, the moment... Um... Yeah, I mean, if this proposal passes, right, okay, the first thing that's going to happen, right, is um, Ceramic gets uh, KYC'd, okay, and I think the way it works, right, okay, and, you know, if I'm wrong, uh, you know, you want it, you know, is uh, it, it's it's the person reviewing the code, right, that's KYC, it's their responsibility, yeah? Is that right? Um, I, don't, I think Stratcall updated uh, a new prop. Initially, it was anyone working on it. Um, Juris, Redline, uh, Rexy, could you confirm that? It's only the reviewer of the code who implements it needs to be KYC'd? I, I think it's changed. No, I know when it was in, initially there, anyone that had any contribution had to be KYC'd. But I think that a governance proposal passed, but I'm often correction on that as well. I'm not 100%. 
Well, okay. I mean, at, at, at the very least, right? Okay, if the, if the proposal passes, um, Ceramic will KYC himself. Um, KYC is not a big deal anymore, I don't think. Okay, I think, you know, the way, okay, this isn't crypto, you know, five years ago, right? You know, crypto today, it's on the verge of going into the mass market, mainstream. Um, you know, people, I think, all you know, we all understand, right, okay, that uh, KYC is a fact of life, right? So, um, you know, for instance, uh, you know, when you're advertising for devs on uh, GitHub and devs, you know, and, you know, you, 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 you put a job offer out, okay, for contribution and stuff, then um, it's not been a problem, you know, finding devs that, uh, you know, have, uh, a, you know, a history of work, um, as well as, you know, KYC as well. I think everyone understands now that, you know, KYC is, is just a fact of life. Well, you know, I'm not actually opposed to people that don't KYC. I'm, I'm more into code audits than KYC itself. So that wouldn't be well, something. KYC, it's more the community, yeah, I think, is that, that I have issue well, with it. Yeah, KYC. Right? I mean, like, I mean, I'm I'm kind of like you, okay, because you know I'm familiar with GitHub and stuff, right? Okay, for me, you don't need KYC because you know you've got GitHub. Yeah, GitHub is all about reputation. You have a history of work, okay. Um, you know, I think it's better than any CV, uh, you know, that you could ever put put together. Uh, but then I also understand the other point, right? Because KYC isn't a protection. Uh, you know, for a hack or anything, it basically it's a trail. Yeah. So if someone does something, okay, there's a trail that you can follow, okay, to uh, you know, essentially get it sorted, whatever it is. So, you know, I'm kind of like, so I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I, I'm not a big fan of KYC. Okay. I'm I'm a big GitHub fan. Yeah. I think your reputation is everything. You know, if you have a solid GitHub presence, okay, then um, that's that's just everything, right? It's just the history of your work, right? And it's something that you can't bullshit on, right? It's not like a CV where you can, you know, you come up with, I did this, this, and this. It's just the reality of your work. Um, so, you know, but I understand, okay, that KYC is a fact of life, right? So um, I, I just think that, you know, any, any yeah, I mean, I think you agree too, right? I mean, like, you know, whether you KYC or not is up to you, right? And I respect that, okay? But you can also understand, you know, but you're like me, I guess, right? You can see the point of it, right? Yeah, well, I, for me, it's a sensibility point of view. And especially when you're working on decentralized money and stuff that's going to go against government regulations, you know, and I can see them tightening again. That That's, for me, that's why my, I prefer my identity hidden if I was working on this kind of stuff. And it means that, nobody working on this can become a target do you know what i mean so from a security point of view that way it's better it means the chain can't be censored by government basically for me governance should be should be law not governments basically yeah and it's a balance right i mean i i agree right but it's 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 a balance because I also have to look at it from the eyes of uh, you know an investor, right? I mean, if I've invested in something, okay, and um, you know, and I've lost it, lost some money, then I want to know that there's some sort of recourse behind it. Okay, now, okay, um, you can create systems, okay, that are robust enough, okay, that you think, well, obviously your money's safe and that lot, um, but then, you know, it's it's not enough for that peace of mind, right? It's not enough for that peace of mind. So, um, so yeah, but, you know, long story short in terms of answering the question, um, yeah, if uh, the proposal passes, then, uh, you know, the ceramics KYC'd, okay, if the developers that are going to be working with him need to be KYC'd, then um, they'll be KYC'd as well. I mean, this project's just too big, right? It's too, I mean, the, the opportunity here, right? Okay, if we can do this, yeah, and if, and if the proposal passed, if we can actually do this, right? Okay, then, you know, this is something that a year ago was an impossibility. And two years ago was an impossibility, yeah? How many people have said that, you know, USTC is wrecked, it's never going to come back, it's finished, it's gone? Well, you know, in crypto, right? Everything's impossible until it's not. And, um, and it's not and USTC is not an impossibility. USTC, okay, is a reality. 
and it's going to be based on the proposal. And like I say, okay, by the time we get to voting on the on the proposal, then uh, all the information will be out there. Yeah, all your questions will be answered, right? All your points will be answered, and then it's a simple vote. Do I want it? Yes. Do I want it? No. That's it. I yeah, I'm I guess similar to you guys as well. I I I don't think KYC should is mandatory. And um, again, code and blockchain. You can verify, you know, not trust, verify and all that good stuff. But, you know, I respect the Lunt governance, which voted for KYC. So I guess we'll have to follow governance. I've got two more questions and I'll open up the mic to the speakers and uh, people that are listening. If you guys have any questions, uh, do request to speak. You can speak. I'm not sure how long Leonardo's got. We usually go for two hours. Uh, so if you guys have any questions, do raise your hand and we can post them to Leonardo. Um, in terms of the proposal, Leonardo, have you yeah. thought about the costs? Uh, can you share anything at the moment? No, <laughs> I mean you've no. thought about it, but you can't share. <laughs> We've got the well, no, there's there's costs involved now, but yeah, I mean it's like, but then you know it's not. Um, well, okay, this cost right, but then you know, but then there's a benefit. Okay, I'm working on on this. If you're there's a benefit if you're a developer. Okay, on assisting and helping the and helping make this happen. Okay, and that's the prestige behind it, because um, I cannot stress enough, right, that. Um, if we're able to repeg USTC and bring it back from the dead in parallel with what's happening with Lunk um, at the moment, okay, then, you know, I truly believe, right, okay, that um, that we can be a top 10 coin again. 100% believe that. And uh, people that are associated, developers that are associated, okay, in, um, you know, making the repeg a, a reality, right? Okay, that's going to be a ton of kudos, right? I think that's yeah, going to people you know, don't work for free, though, right? Because there's other blockchains that are paying you lots of money to work. So people, I guess, I understand the kudos, and you know, there's for me as well. I think I could probably make more money focusing on other chains and people on on here as well. Um, but people also still want to make money. Oh, so I think absolutely! Hey, about yeah, no, definitely, definitely. I mean, I mean, look, I mean, like you know, ceramic, right? Okay, to get to the point, right? Okay, if you go into detail, right, and you look at his theory paper, right? Okay, you know, that is a complex, I would say, an impressive body of work, right? Okay, you know, he did that for free. Yeah. And, you know, and that took a while to put together, right? Okay, he's been in conversations with some of the devs, okay, like the Terraport devs and stuff, a few of the devs in terms of, you know, putting structure to the proposal, you know, taking what he'd done with CZUSD and applying it to, um, you know, USTC. You know, that takes time, right? Okay, he's done it off his own back. Yeah, he's done it off his own back, okay, you know, because he believes it's it's an option. Obviously, okay, there's, a, you know, you have to pay for it, right? People have to have, have to eat um, and it's going to, you know, it's going to come in, 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 in the proposal. But it's not going to be, I would say, okay, I can't give you an idea of cost, but I can say it's not going to be as in, oh, we put this out to tender, okay, and these are the people that have responded to it and this is how much it's going to cost, right? Not like the old days yet, not like in the level one days, right? Where it was a case of, well, you want me to work? Okay, here's my hourly rate and all this stuff, right? Okay, there has to be an element of vocation involved in this. Yeah, there has to be an element of belief. And anyway, right? Okay, like, for instance, you know, if you give someone a chunk of USTC today, okay, and then say, right, okay, you know, and it's what, worth $2 million, okay, when it's, I don't know, when it hits $1, okay, that's a pretty good incentive, right? Okay, to uh, you know, to help make it a, a reality. So not only do you get the kudos of being one of the developers that made the impossible happen, um, you know, you're also financially rewarded by the fact that um, you know you potentially received a chunk of USTC. Okay, at today's price. Okay, and you know you're cashing it out. Okay, um, you know when it's you know one dollar right and we're not saying right okay and, and it's not a case of you know this isn't a scenario right in which it's a case of oh okay i've done the white paper i've done the two what we've gone through this whole price it's really complex it's now going to cost you a freaking fortune and we want it up front now before we do any work yeah it's going to be it's it, it's you know when when you see the proposal for costs and so on okay it's going to be structured uh the, you know there might be some initial payments okay uh, you know, for people to eat, they're not going to be huge. Okay, the reward um, is going to be at 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 the end. Yeah, not at the end, 
you know when it's oh, okay it's like a dollar now right where's my money okay it's going to be right okay well it's a dollar now okay here's your first payment and so on for like i don't know six months to a year whenever okay because um well I say six months to whenever, right? Okay, you give everyone like money on day one, then they'll probably end up dumping it, right? <laughs> so things crash, right? But you structure it, yeah, because you know you want to be able to support, you want to be able to, uh, you know, support, okay, um, you know, the project as it moves forward, as opposed to here it is, I've done my work, now I'm gone, you know. But there needs to be an element of, um, you know, there needs to be an. It's like me, right, and you okay and redline and others right okay we're here because we believe yeah you know i'm not here because i'm getting paid by the hour yeah i'm here because i believe that we could do something good you know and the people that are going to be involved and helping okay you know the devs and stuff to to repeg this thing well you know if they don't have this belief then they probably won't be involved because it's not going to be, you know, an initial financial reward, right? Okay, for them to get involved. Okay, that's, you know, the financial reward is only one element of it. Yeah, and, and I think that's that's fair. Um, there should be not just, oh, we'll just give you USTC and then you make money. There should be like a balanced payment. And we've discussed that before on previous proposals, like a USTC bounty program. So, no, that's um, understandable. Well, final, I guess it's not a question. We need to also think uh, just a... Just a word on it is my is sharing my thoughts on this. We probably need to think about Binance as well because they're still burning USTC. Um, so how again? I know some people don't care as much, but it's still money that but Binance is burning for us. Um, so we probably need to give that a thought as well. Um, what they think of it? Well, Binance, right? Okay, we basically, uh, you know, that's that's one of the things, right? With uh, you know, we've taken an approach. Uh, you know, instead of the traditional centralized approach yeah where you have you know secret meetings you have all these like offline meetings so you come up with a plan and go right here it is you know boom okay what do you think right okay you know we've involved the community right from day one yeah one of the reasons for that okay is by involving the community right okay pretty much everyone knows right that we've got this plan now and as time flies right like as time moves on more and more people are going to know so Binance are going to be aware yeah now with binance okay binance you know i mean you know we'd love their support yeah we'd love to be able to talk to them okay you know we're an open door to them right if they want to know any anything about about the uh, project then you know they just need to speak to us right okay but um you know we're not gonna like you know it's, it's, see the thing is right okay binance when it's, they're like any big corporation right okay like you know you don't like you know dogecoin right Okay, who owns Dogecoin? Would you say, I mean, the Elon. Litecoin validators, right? They they have a big say on... Oh, absolutely, they, they yeah. Token, right? And I know it's Charlie Lee, but he's, he dumped... Man, that was a big loss for me, him dumping his tokens. But yeah, the, the Litecoin team still validates it, so I guess they, they have the most say. Well, ultimately, right? Okay, the chain, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, right? But ultimately, right? Okay, Lunk is, is actually, you know, it's, it's the validators that own the chain and you know they're the gatekeepers and you know people like you know that delegate with them they choose who they delegate with right but the people that own the chain i mean it's like this goes to proposal okay and it's going to pass or fail and it's going to be you know the the, the validators are going to be very very influential in making that happen so they're the yeah. guys that own the chain I mean, you know, I see Binance as being um, they're like they're like Elon with with Dodge. Right. I mean, you know, with with Dodge, um, Elon has a lot of him. You know, does he own Dodge? Many people think he does. Right. But he doesn't. He keeps it. You know, it's it's a distance. Right. But he has a lot of influence over it. OK. And um, I think the same is true with Binance as well. Right. OK. You know, people see how much money they burn. I mean, we're talking like millions of dollars now. Okay, that that they burn to support Lunk. Um, you know, the only other coin I think they burn is BNB, right? They don't do any other coin yet. So why would they do that to us? That uh, okay. you know, they don't have to. Okay, so you know, people can figure it out. They think, well, why would they do that then? You know, why would they do that? Would they do that because they're a charity, or would they do that because you know they're the world's biggest exchange, right? Okay, so 
you know, with Binance, right? Okay, our doors open. You know, we respect them as a company. Yeah, uh, they can. Uh, you know, they want to speak to us. You know, we're more than happy to speak to them. Um, you know, I know. I know. Okay, I know. I think with Binance, right, with with these big companies and so on, it's um, if they're silent, you know, you're on the right track, right? If they're vocal, if they do something through their actions, then you know they're not. Hence the reason why you remember back in the day, right, when we decided to remint Link again. Okay, you know, they went from burning 100%, um, you know, of their um, trading fees to 50%. And they're still burning 50%. And that kind of bugs the shit out of me in a way, because every time I see a nice big number, okay, of Binance burn, my as much as I want to ignore it, I multiply it by two in my brain. And instead of being like celebrate, oh, hey, great. Yeah, they've just burned a billion, you know, a billion. Look, yeah, that's fantastic. You know, my brain, it, my heart's, you know, my heart's saying, yeah, that's fine. But my brain's going, well, hang on a minute. That could have been two billion, you know, because, you know, they, <laughs> we were lucky that they basically stayed with us, right? After we decided to remint. Okay. And I mean, mm. you know, and that for me anyway, right? Okay. I don't know about you. Okay. But that for me, that was my um that was my that was when i made my commitment to lunk right you know i was i was i was here for the crash i came as a spectator i saw it i thought to myself how can a how can a billion dollar infrastructure just disappear yeah i thought hey, something's gonna happen here right something's gonna you know something's gonna happen okay and then you know when i just followed i'm just an investor like many people here just followed it followed it followed it and then when the community decided to remit Lunk, I thought, ah, fuck, that's it, finished then, done, it's gone. Um, and then, um, you know, and then, uh, you know, when there was a proposal, okay, to stop, you know, minting Lunk, and it passed, that was when I jumped into Lunk then. That was my, that was my, I would say, my moment, okay, where I thought, right, nah, no fucking around now, excuse the language to anyone. Yeah, no, Lunk's, I'm going to, I'm going to invest in look it's gonna be my coin i was surprised as well i mean i guess i'm an influencer so i have to tweet in a certain way but when i'm speaking in a longer format i can i guess explain my reasoning a bit more but i was surprised surprised as well that the way binance is support supported us but it's great and um, i am going to open it up to other people to ask questions so jurors rexy redline um and anyone if you don't want to come up just comment below we can ask the question as for you to uh, for Re questions to leonardo for you redline you know you the work that you guys were doing uh finance being quite affected completion of the quant team's proposal what what's your thoughts on this finance matter on finance in terms of sorry yeah, I, I was just out there for two minutes so i might have missed the last two minutes uh, so i i asked leonardo that you know we changing um this sort of i guess rebranding not changing usty to ustc um and then uh, creating this ustc from zero so what how do you think binance will react to this i know you've had some dealings when uh, you were trying to repeg uh, with the quant team uh, i think that's something you would actually have to have prior discussion with all of the major exchanges like kraken binance to make sure they were on board with this before we'd go ahead because they mightn't agree to this at all to to a ticker change like i know kraken still uses ust as a as a ticker not ustc Do you know, so you, I think you'd have to have discuss, you'd have to have prior discussions with all the exchanges in advance for going ahead with this. Yeah, I think that they'll definitely play a, play a massive part. Well, there's two, there's, there's, well, you break that down, right? Okay, there's two, right? There's like implementation. So for instance, um, you know, if the community implemented this, then um, everything stays the same apart from the name, right? so you know you use kraken as an example okay they're still using the old name right so um you know if we switched okay then um they could still be using the old name right makes no difference it doesn't impact them because you know how would you know like would this the only impact that that would have is a positive one right because well no not really changes. because we'd have three different tickers and depending on what exchange you went to they all mean a different thing if that makes sense to you right but right but it's up to the exchange right because it's the exchange's customer yeah i mean did the exchange okay you know does the exchange okay my personal recommendation right would be to go with the flow right 
okay because um you know eventually okay you know there'll be a new you know there'll be a new self collateralized stable coin usdc available okay but they don't have to change that that's then what they're doing is confusing their customers now you can't stop that i can't control their business and say well you know you need to do this i can advise Okay, and say, well, look, you know, you really, you know, we suggest you change your ticket to USTY as well. Okay, but, um, you know, but I can't make them do it. But then also as Rara, okay, you know, okay, they've got USTC on their exchange, right? USTC is dead. You know, what we're talking about is rubble. Yeah, we're not, we're not, we're not talking about an asset or a crypto that's transitioning from one thing to another. We're talking about rubble, okay, that we want to convert into a skyscraper right we want to we want to build something yeah but so USDC what still means something to them like you'd see that it regularly hits like the top one of the top traded tokens you know what i mean in terms of in terms of like in volume like it, it gets up there into the top 10 regular enough like yeah i agree but it's peanuts right it's peanuts it's like two cents it's 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 it's, <laughs> it's tiny you know which which okay red light which shows how big an opportunity this is yeah but i'm because just saying it's happening you should have prior discussions do you know like it's it's all in a good saying go with the flow but i think just before you go with the flow just maybe feel out the exchanges and see see oh, how they yeah, are yeah 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 no. well but what yeah but what we can do right okay is you can't work for an egg right we, we can't work for an exchange okay we work for ourselves right but what we can do is we can be open we can like you know we, we can try and approach them we, we can reach out to them yeah definitely okay but then you know if they don't want to talk they don't want to talk what 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 can you do i mean you know it's like what alternatives are there you know it's it's, it's, a, it's a tough one uh hello mate um look market here hello uh, look market hi I quite uh, like it. Uh, some some parts of your proposal. Sorry, I have the kids. Everyone here around me, but uh, I sort of like part of it. But um, I got a bit nervous yesterday when I found out that you are using our brands to make a validator. So Lung Market now has its own validator. Sorry, sorry, who? who official who, one. Lung uh, Market. Lung Market official, yeah, and. Uh, we have been running long market for a while. Which, which validator is that? You mean what? I mean what? The uh, what? The LMDM node is that? Is that what you mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. Long market development node. Oh, okay. You have another one. Okay. Well, that's 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 news to me. All right. Okay. We we can fix that. That's not an issue. I'll I'll I'll, I'll look at fixing that because that's not the objective of of the um, node. Because the objective of the node, okay, it's uh, a non profit node okay yeah, same, here, um, same here so we we agree on both sides that's good yeah <laughs> well okay so what okay all right so what okay so as as a non-profit node what 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 does your node do well we are uh supporting many l2 tokens since uh april we opened our website uh so okay it has been quite a long time that long market has been on the long uh, playing yeah, yeah 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 Okay, well, okay, I mean, from my side, right? Okay, what it is, okay, is, uh, you know, any profit made from that is going to go towards, uh, you know, funding some kind of marketing campaign, but not... It's not the issue about the, the, the things, it's just the branding. If you could uh, maybe just uh, call it something else, uh, because we have been working yeah, on yeah. market branding for a while. Yeah, but come on, give me a break, man. I've got a ton of equity and I've got a lot of profit in that node. Do you know do you know how much money i've made since since that known's gone on stream do you know how much i don't know but uh probably six dollars yeah. i've made six dollars i've made six dollars on that node i know you, you don't make money there i'm not telling you <laughs> to make money or not and yeah it's just because i have uh, gotten a few people talking to me that they uh they did um as an, yes, uh, delegate token to me and i was like no i have no devil i i have no note open and they were like no i i found you there on the internet and i'm the i'm, I'm sending you some tokens and i was like no definitely not uh, because i had nothing opened and then that's the thing you know what i want to talk actually 
Well, okay then. Uh, okay then. This is the first I've heard. Okay, um, let's take this offline, uh, and we'll get it sorted. I don't have yeah. a problem with that because I've got no equity in that name. Right? That mean that name means nothing to me. That name just says, okay, what it's called, and like I said, it's only got like what six, seven dollars in it. So yeah, it's a name changer. It. To make if, profit if it, takes a while. I know that. That's not well, no, no, but if the, no, but what I'm saying is, what, what I'm saying is, because it's new, okay, I don't mind. You know, I don't want to conflict with your node, right? Especially if your node's been around for a, a while. So I'll change my name. It's not an issue. Okay. We need to talk you. about it offline. Yeah. I, Send me a DM it. or something. Yeah. Right? We'll appreciate it. it. Thank you. No problem. Pleasure. Thanks. Okay. Thanks, Link Market. Vegas, you're next, mate. Yo, everyone. Um, just a quick one. Uh, no, it's not a quick one. Um, Leo, let's try to do a conversation. Uh, so, why do we need mm. to change the, the the ticker on the on the centralizing changes? Well, we, well, what you mean? Why why do we need the cent? Well, we would like okay the change the cent. We would like the uh, exchanges to change the ticker to match our own ticker. Okay. Okay. Uh, but we can't force them to, right? We would, we would like to because ultimately, okay, our, our plan is, you know, USTC to USTY to USTC again, right? To a new USTC. So okay. there's confusion. But uh, uh, for example, is this going to change the supply of uh, of um, of the of the coin that they have there? Doesn't matter. I'm going to just call it USD. Does uh, does it going to change the supply that they have of uh, USDC on the centralizing change, or is it just changing the the ticker? Yeah, it's just a ticker name. It's just like I think if if you look at the uh, I think oh. Serenic mentioned it in in the white paper what it involves. Right? It's just a, a code. It's just you you change the identifier. I think. Um, and it's just a name, so every, everything else stays the same. Nothing, so there's no change to futures contracts. Anything, it's all the same. And if they and if they don't do anything, then everything just carries on. Yeah, I don't think. Okay, so um, that being said, I didn't uh, disclose or didn't read the white paper yet. Uh, so I'm just trying. I'm just trying to to get some some information directly from you, uh, um, because one thing was like I was thinking, okay. If we're going to wipe out the the supply and asking the centralizing changes to follow ball with us, <laughs> that will be a massacre. But if it's just changing a ticker or whatever on the on the centralizing changes, I think that is not going to be a problem at all. Um, but yeah, yeah we and, can just, and, we can and, just and, ask. And and Vegas, right? They don't have to do anything, right? So it's not mm. like you know we have to get. It's, so it's not like you know like the system's offline for 24 hours or they need to change you know they don't need to change any of their systems at all right it's just a switch from our end and if they don't switch from their end they might get some confused customers but yeah business wise yeah, nothing changes talking, right? for example about binance uh, doing nothing is never doing nothing so for 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 you to to know um Every time that we do, for example, uh, an update to the chain or anything that is a tiny bit uh, strange or whatever, we need to give them a minimal of three weeks in advance. Okay, minimal, minimal two weeks, but they all prefer a month. Uh, so they can do, um, they could do a, a general or public announcements. Uh, and plus to make sure that the developing team is following the stuff and the front end team changes things up and blah, blah. So, um, yeah they 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 are not as linear as we are you know it's like okay let's go this way yeah let's move no they no, vegas, vegas, them. No. no you know what vegas phase but i mm. also understand right okay that there's an element of work involved in this you know it's not like you know it's not like okay you know you have to proactively speak to them right that's yeah, it, right, right that's yeah. not something that just happens right so i mean yeah i know that okay and uh and i respect that right that we have so it's, it's, it's what it is now i was just worried because um yeah if it's not going to change the supply of of the of the coin itself and it's just changing uh the name and the, you say that this that is going to help to create less confusion um yeah that's that's i don't see any problem with that but to be fair is other coins with same tickers and stuff like that yeah so yeah okay but that, that is, that's what i was going to ask if is uh, if it's going to affect any kind of supply if it's going to affect any, if it affects any kind of of 
parameter like that, then uh, then we have to really coordinate really well with the centralized exchanges. If it's not, uh, if it's just changing the ticker, uh, that that uh, a simple announcement will will do the trick. I think I still didn't spoke about about this with uh, with any of them. Uh, until until you guys have the technical white paper or the full white paper, um, but yeah, I have read the white paper. Uh, it's it's quite uh, takes a bit of time actually, um, it it can work actually. What uh, I found that um, is missing is uh, how to reduce a bit more the supply for the USTC that will become USTI. I replied to him on uh, one of the chats from Elban, and he told he is going to work on it actually. Yes. So it will work like um, uh, uh, the 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 MM, yeah, on layer one. But this is on layer two, yeah. It's basically yeah, I, that. I mean, the USTC would become USTY, yeah. But um, there's a plan to burn Lunk. On that the thing, but the people who hold uh, USTC now, they're gonna be like uh, sort of screwed. Let's say like that. Um, so, uh, wait, what? This is a good uh, good question, maybe for Leonardo. Uh, Rex, yeah. I don't know if you can speak. Um, yeah. Leonardo, so the new token, the USTC, will that be a layer one or layer two? So Lunk and USTC are like layer one tokens, and then you've got you know Terraport, Jurius, Meme Coins. This new USTC you're creating, will that be an L two? Did you get my question? Well, maybe he's a bit off, but uh, as I understand, I think he's right because yeah. I can see his, his thing is saying that he's speaking, but we cannot hear him. So maybe maybe log out and log in again, or s s jump out. Sorry, and jump in again. But I, uh, uh, from my small understanding of of what they were uh, talking, at least. Is that the, um, this is always going to use collateral, yeah? So collateral will be always need a centralized uh, entity like uh, the, like the foundation used to be. So uh, just by that is not layer one. That is uh, that is will be uh, an option on top of of the chain. So it's going to be someone controlling some kind of uh, supply in terms of the collaterals. So that alone is screams that is not layer one. Uh, but my question is more directly, exactly for the token itself, like you were saying, uh, uh, right? Um, if it's going to be a CW20 or if it's going to be a native coin, uh, and more than that, if they re indeed have a swapping mechanism uh, that will work like the, the, the old MM, is this uh, planning to be on, uh, on layer one or is an uh, is option of layer two? And the reason for me to ask this is that I still truly believe that we should try to uh, to uh, utilize our solutions on layer one just for the simple fact that um, that on layer two is a lot of good projects a lot of them are here yeah you can see rex is there so jury somewhere uh whatever it's a lot of good projects here on the on the on the on this on this uh, space alone but they never get the amount of traffic that if it was on a layer one solution they will have later on they will have of course they will uh, but it takes time and sometimes projects they don't have that time to 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 make it work um so that's that's what my only thing is like i will prefer to see a layer one solution i'll prefer to save something i'll prefer not to do the same mistake that you uh, do uh, did in the past that is like okay this doesn't work i will try something different we all know what happened with that i'll prefer for us to still try to do what we are doing now that is trying to save the the the, the chain and not just going around and around that being said if it doesn't stop our efforts of trying to 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 bring to uh, to life the mm i'm full on board with this and if he works and then we don't need an mm perfect uh, even better one more note regarding the usdc being dead if you guys go to the to coin market cap uh, at the moment i think the, the the volume the daily volume is a double of the of lunk so if usdc is dead what that makes from lunk you know like come on it's not dead <laughs> I agree with you. I don't think it's that uh, too. I think uh, we have to work on it. And uh, there's a really good perspective with the MMC, but uh, there are some 
things that uh, has to be discussed as we are doing now. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, the volume on USTC is, is quite good to see. I've messaged Leonardo to say he needs to leave and come back for there's a bug on the spaces. I can't, I can't speak or we can't seem to hear him. I just had a, a quick question uh, regarding the plan. Um, so yesterday in some of the lunk spaces, um, Ceramic Fingers made his, his way around and was answering questions, and that, I thought that was admirable. One of the things that he had pointed out was that a lot of his theory paper was designed around the out-of-date uh, documents that are found online that were primarily written by the TFL group when Luna, uh, when, uh, I'm sorry, when Lunk was Luna. Um, how do you feel that this is going to affect any timelines or design flaws, uh, being that the documents were out of date that kind of the base, the theory off of? I do know that he had a, a long talk with Straith um, about the capabilities of the chain, but do you feel that being that he's developed this on those old documents, that's going to slow things down? Um, I'm not sure how to answer that. I don't know if Vegas or Redline can or Rexy can. Uh, Leonardo is having some issues with his Twitter spaces. Sorry, could you repeat the question? Or like, you're back here. Yeah? Can you hear? Me? Can you guys hear me now? Yes, we can, Leonardo. Right. Okay. So, do you want me to answer that last question about? Yes. Yeah. Apollo. Yeah. Okay. Well. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, it's good that, OK, you know, you're having these kind of discussions with, um, you know, ceramic. I mean, you you highlight a point, OK, which is like pretty key. OK, it's the fact that this documentation and so on that is old and legacy and so on. And, you know, some of this stuff needs to be changed. Um, I would say it's great, OK, that, um, you know, Strath and uh, Plastic are having a discussion. OK, because I actually think that, um, you know, between the two of them, OK, that um you know solutions can be made solutions can be you know they could be workarounds made uh will it impact the timeline well we don't know what the timeline is yet so <laughs> i think if anything they will take into account the timeline yeah okay needed to um you know to make this happen but yeah i can imagine there'll be an element if you know if if they're um if they need to to make changes because documentation's out of date and so on then i can imagine that's going to have an impact yeah definitely Leonardo, could you go back and answer the L1, L2 question that we asked earlier? I don't know if you got. Did you Did you hear that question we asked? Well, do you know what? Okay, I heard it, but um, yeah, but my mic was off. I think I answered it. Okay, but no one heard. <laughs> <laughs> you might have to repeat again. So, uh, yeah, no problem. Well, I was going to say, right? Okay, right. Okay, USTC or the new contract USTC will be. You know, it's the same criteria as as USTC today. Sorry, so. You know, so UST what? So USTC to USTY, okay, that's an identifier change, but it's kind of like it's it's this, you know, but the new USTC, it's going to be a stable coin. So you know, similar to the con, so what the stable? So USTC today is, is a layer one, right? So USTC tomorrow is going to be a layer one as well. Yeah, it's just that it's a fresh contract, right? It's a fresh stable coin that starts with, you know, a supply of zero that we can build upon. You know, but that will be under, uh, but that will be like, uh, but that will be a new contract number, right? So whereas. Mm. Okay, and then we'll have to go through the full process of like relisting it on exchanges and that. Yeah, that's the thing. That's, that's the one where um, they will have to add so you can imagine, right? Okay, they could eventually end up with the ideal scenario, right? Okay, is they end up with two. Yeah, they end up with USTY and they end up with USTC. Because USTY is not going to go away. You know, and if anything, okay, think about it, right? Okay, you have, um, if USTY gets to $1, okay, and you've got USTC at $1, Lung's got two stable coins. Yeah one is you know but you know one okay his has, has been developed from the ground up okay to be as much as we can comply with you know the different types of legislation like you know mika and stuff 
Um, and then the other one, okay, is, you know, is, uh, you know, one uh, which, you know, doesn't have that limitation. You know, and that would be pretty cool, right? Because, um, you know, when you go into detail on the uh, plan and so on, it's great, you know, that, you know, stress involved because, you know, I mean, hey, I mean, you know, he's one of the most technically aware guys, right, on the entire chain, right? Okay, you know, if, if the plan is to bring USTC up to uh, $1, then um, just make sure mic's on, then, um, you know, that's a massive benefit to the community. I mean, tell me if I'm wrong, right? I mean, I, I think that's a huge. Yeah, it's obvious, right? And I think for me, it's the timing. Um, like this is a trader, shiller, influencer. It's the timing, the way Bitcoin is going. If we can get our act together, um, I mean, if we can repeg it to $1 or, or get USDC to $1, great. Even if we can just get the narrative going, get bigger accounts and old Luna guys talking about it, that is huge um, for our Luna Classic bags. Yeah, and uh, you know what, and and the thing is, right, we don't have to wait until, uh, you know, like a US, the new USTC is over collateralized, right? It'll start with a supply of zero, okay, and then that supply will slowly increase, right? And then you get, uh, you know, and then you can see momentum building, right? Because the moment you've got the framework in place, the moment people can see it, okay, you know, this is all, this is all audited, all, all up front, all straight, or fish then you know people will basically pile into it is my belief people will pile into it so um yeah i actually think you know it's 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 exciting it's, it's like a win-win i mean it's it's really good no it definitely is mate and, and I, I was excited to read the paper there was there's been some for oh, in luna classic there's always people attacking you like am i involved am i part of it but I try to give it, um, I guess, Vegas, Rexy, and others will know. I try to give the benefit of the doubt and, and try to support it and, and see how it goes. So, you know, I wish you guys, wish you guys all the best. Um, on the panel, Vegas, Rexy, Redline, if you guys have any questions, go on. We'll, 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 we'll stay live for another half an hour or so. I'll see if there's any questions on the um, comments. Uh, one question is about the i have a question the reserve yeah. assets um i think from what i remember reading it last night is btc eth bnb usdt and also luna classic where the reserves is that that's correct right leonardo yeah yeah i mean it's still open to decision right but that's kind of like what we're going to the thing that i will add okay is um you know when you have a, a set of um you know like different collaterals right in it the more volatile the collateral is okay the higher the the higher the cr ratios will actually be yeah that's why you have like something like us ustd uh, yeah usdt balancing it out you know and that's why okay we don't recommend okay you know you have like for instance um you know too much lunk and too much USDC together or USDY together because of its volatility. And we've seen a lot of bad things happen, like Kuji recently. Like they, I think they leveraged their own token, and when their own token dropped, um, so yeah, having is exogenous like other assets will, will definitely help. What's the percentage? Is it one sixty percent or two fifty percent? The collateralization that you're gonna or you propose to go forward with? Oh, one sixty, I think. 160 okay i mean even yeah. then like, if bitcoin and they can easily drop more um that's still a risk right but then your collateralization ratio would be less so you the, 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 then the quick kill switch i guess will 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 come in and and pause the minting and the swaps well what happens is is like you let it float right so once it passes the uh, so say for instance like a massive crash so let's go back to like luna for instance right um where it entered a death spiral and is a massive crash what will happen okay is you'll get to a point uh where um the collateral ratio drops to you know the, lo the lowest level i think it's like 80 uh i'm not sure uh, it drops to 80 okay um, and then it stops functioning yeah so the collateral stays there and the price just drops the price will just drop 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 drop, drop. it'll hit a level it hit a low point okay and then it will slowly recover yeah, and then that's where the collateral kicks in and it will slowly recover and it gets back up to its original value. 
that's one of the problems right with uh luna okay is you know they had btc to throw and they actually you know threw it out there to try and protect it but it was in a death spiral right so that money just went away uh you know the way um the way this model works right is you just let it float you just let it float drop um you know you don't waste the collateral on it and then when it when it hits you know and then when it's bottomed out okay that's when the collateral is used to uh, you know bring it up to its you know to the one dollar level so uh, if the you question, say if i oh sorry go. the question i had is uh, actually about this uh, tema and um, how do you plan to test it because actually if you make like for example uh, a secondary whatever tokens and make the test into the system and then bring it to stress and really test it i think that's gonna be something that is gonna make proof is or the or it's gonna prove that it works you know and how are your plans to test it that's a i'm not question. yeah I'm, I'm i'm not sure with that the, the, the thing that us us i say with that okay is um i can see where ceramics coming with this right okay because there's an element of this okay that's been applied to uh you know the um the uh the cz zodiac dollar yeah the uh, cz usd you know that's backed by collateral okay and um that was exploited right and it crashed okay and it you know got to a point but there are different you know but then um you know so it's not like this is a completely new a uh, system that we're testing for the first time um i think the community is quite fortunate okay to have someone like ceramic in place okay that has the experience with stable coins uh you know to be able to develop this because this is something that you know he's familiar with already uh to some extent because of the work that he's done with uh you know usdt i mean the thing that i will say right okay is um you know look how old the stable coin is yeah, it's it, it, people have tried to crash it and exploit it. OK, it's not like it was just once when it when it's when it's been launched, um, as you guys know, right, especially, you know, the developers that are listening. Right. OK, this is this is this is this is a job that never stops. Right. I mean, you know, this is you always have to, you know, you always have to um, self improve. You know, you can never like leave code as it is. It's a continual process. Um, yeah. I just think, you know, ceramics, the best, I mean, I'm biased anyway, right? Cause he's my friend, right? <laughs> but ceramic, right? Is he's the best man for the job. I mean, I don't think, you know, I think Link's in a very fortunate position, right? I mean, how many other people are there? Okay. That are prepared to help us, right? That have his experience, you know, not very many. Right. And I think it's like, and, you know, and, and I mean, it just makes me bullish, right? When you turn around to me and you say, oh yeah, you know, you know, like Sarank was in a space, we had a conversation, you know, we had a conversation with, with um, you know, Strath and they had, a, you know, that for me is, that sells, that's, that's his bullish, right? Because I would say, you know, I mean, I've, I've been in crypto a while now, right? And, you know, I don't, I don't respect many people in crypto, okay? Because, you know, but who I do is Ceramic and uh, Strath. I've never spoken to Strath, but I've seen his work, you know, so, uh, yeah, I, okay. I agree. It's yeah, quite so. bullish, uh, actually. It's nothing against uh, nothing. It's just um, the testing. That's something that I think that's very important is to make uh, like um, whatever L L2 tokens or whatever and create the scenario somewhere else for like a testing and then bring it really to stress and see yeah. how the the software or program or whoever writes the the thing how is it going to develop itself you know that's my point and once and we I can see that okay it hold it okay we went down so much and it hold it here and then make break even on that and then start to to bring it back up again and to see where is the stress limit for the the project you know what i mean oh you know what I, I know what you mean and I'm I'm a I'm hundred percent behind you. You need that. You need that. It, you know, what you're you know, what you're proposing, right, isn't a oh well maybe we should. It's like no, it's mandatory because we're talking about an asset that is gonna be worth hundreds of millions of dollars, right? 
And that's it. <laughs> you cannot afford to take any chances, any risk, uh, any, oh, let's try it, see how it works live, and let's change it if it goes. It's like, no, no, no. Yeah, I agree. You can't afford to do with this. Yeah. yeah. That's what I So, mean. yeah, I, I'm, I'm behind you on that one completely. I asked that question as well, Link Market. Um, Redline, you wanted to speak. Uh, go ahead, mate. Uh, so what mechanisms are there actually to hold the peg? So I, I know you're saying just let it flow, but say, for instance, you get somebody that becomes a large holder and they dump it, shorting then on the perpetual markets to make more money. How do you combat that? Oh, I think ceramic's best place to answer that. I know there are mechanisms in place where the tax goes up. So as the price goes down, uh, there's this tax. OK, that, yeah, it gets more expensive OK, to dump um but then you know they get to a point where um it just stops i'm not better i you know what red light i can't i i'm not <laughs> i'm not yeah. equipped to answer that question not properly anyway i could just give you like an overview I, I can't give you the detail that you want but there are mechanisms in place right i mean you know i would say i mean hey you, you can reach out why don't you reach out you know i can uh you know, I can read. I, I can. You know, why don't you speak directly to ceramic? I can arrange that. It's not an issue. Um. Yeah, I can do. It. It's just more to understand the mechanisms behind it because the second you this token moves off chain, like you, you need some kind of serious. You need to incentivize on chain then, basically, and that would mean you'd actually have to use your collateral. You couldn't just hold it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Then I would say then let's let's hold this right. I I would say then you know the moment the detail comes out. OK, you know, we're not a million miles away in terms of that happening, then, um, you know, yeah, we need your feedback ASAP, right? Respond straight away, either directly to me or whatever, whether it's Commonwealth, whatever, um, you know, and let's get it addressed, right? Yeah, like, sure. yeah. yeah so when, when you come out with the technical paper, I, I can have a look and I'm happy to, if I see anything yeah. that's an issue, I'm, I'm happy to bring up with you or whatever. Um, I, I'll tell you, I actually must head away there, um, but it was great speaking to you and uh, thanks Rocco for having space. Thanks mate, thanks for joining and yeah, really I'd appreciate you coming in. Um, I, I'd i like to see like a scenario as well, the, the scenario that Redline mentioned, someone's a, a big holder and starts dumping and shorting, it'd be good to have these scenarios as examples and what the protocol will exactly do. Uh, as a non-technical person, just reading that will help me and others understand it. Agreed. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. Cool. Um, let's look at a few more questions and we'll start rounding up in the next 20 minutes or so. Uh, if not, we can finish early today. That won't be a problem. Uh, Vegas, you've been quiet. Anything else you want to add? No, mate. I just want, I just want to see more, more details to be fair. Yeah. Try to understand. Yeah. Uh, I, I have my, 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 um, the idea that on L2, this will be a tiny bit hard to work properly. Not to work properly, but be massively adopted. Uh, that being said, if this L2 issue it doesn't need governance. But then I was just looking to your to your tweet, uh, and you say USDC repack proposal. The USDC repack plans to swap all existing USDC to USDC I, and restart the supply from USDC to zero. Mate, this thing is going to be. Um, yeah, I don't know. I have to read it because uh, just reading my understanding. I mean, Leonardo can. Uh, so my understanding is that current UST will be rebranded to USTY, and you start a new USTC with the same L1 contract with a different name or different contract. No, 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 no. It's a new contract. Everything's new. Oh, okay. So that changes a new stable coin. That changes. Yeah, sorry, a new contract. That 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 will need a lot of coordination with the centralization changes. Plus, exactly. plus, if you are at this moment, uh, for that to advance, it has to be absolutely a, a million times uh, tested on uh, um, Mimic centralizing chain, whatever, um, because this will then require regulation. Because now you are you are telling the centralizing change, we are changing the co the, the ticker because this new coin is indeed a, a stable coin. Okay, prepare for regulations. This is going to be a, a tiny bit of a challenge. All of this being said. I hope that it works, yeah, and uh, I will read it, uh, uh, the white paper to, to try to understand if I'm not just saying bullshit, but uh, um, yeah, I'm, I'm very happy that uh, more teams and more teams are trying to get uh, more efforts for the repeg of the SEC because in, indeed this is the mechanism that powered 
the whole ecosystem and we have to bring it back one way or another. I still believe that uh, L1 trying to save the USTC that we have at the moment uh, is still the best option. Uh, I have my controversial way of, of the rebirth gate that was basically uh, uh, if the wallet is not alive, they are not going to, to have this uh, this uh, this coin in the future, whatever. But um, yeah, I think it's still ways to save the OSTC uh, instead of just creating a new one. But if we're going to create a new one, like you are uh, uh, um, suggesting, uh, that will will indeed uh, change a lot of things in terms of the central agent change, including like Binance and things like that. So it could even uh, mean that we uh, need to go deep in our pockets. Well, the objective is right. The objective of the proposal, okay, is to deliver the community a one dollar over collateralized stablecoin. That's the objective of the proposal, right? We cannot do it with uh, USTC, okay, because of uh, the amount of dead, okay, USTC that will never be used. It's gone in lost wallets that we're going to have to over collateralize. And number two, okay, because of its, you know, because of the way the mechanism works, the MMs and so on, because, you know, it will never, ever, ever, um, you know, get um, approved, right? as a stable coin because it's not a stable coin now right and people say oh usdc is nothing now right it is rubble it's not a stable coin it's rubble okay so even if it hits say one dollar for instance okay then does that automatically mean it's a stable coin no it doesn't because when you hit one dollar you're going to have to go through a whole load of regulation yeah for it to be called a stable coin you yes. know that's yeah indeed but uh, in, at least in my view it will be easier to to try to uh, to coordinate with the centralizing changes and stuff, trying to say, okay, we did it. Let's call it again a, st a stable coin. Then they will come back to us, guys. You need loads of regulations to 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 follow until you guys can even call it a stable coin. Um, but in my my opinion, doing a new coin and calling it a stable coin and then trying to list it on the centralizing change is is not simple. But uh, maybe ceramics have more experience on this, and they will say, no, this as well will be very simple. But the last time that we talk uh, anything about uh, about doing something similar. Yeah, when when it was in the steel tire rebels, uh, we were talking about uh, uh, um, uh, to do all the licenses and all of that stuff. Uh, it will be a quarter of a million just to start. You know, it's like it was very expensive. All of the all of the process is that a quarter of a million. What to be licensed for? What to be stable? To be licensed to do what? A quarter of a million. Sorry. Yeah, it's basically if if you are saying that you have a stable coin, yeah, you have to you have to prove that this is a stable coin. So you have to be some kind of license. I cannot remember exactly, but it's like it's a lot of stuff. It's like almost like a license of a bank. The your uh, uh, entity, your company, yeah, will basically be scrutinized as a bank. So yeah yeah and and that's the and that's and that's the reality of it right because we we can talk about uh regulation and so on but you have to be a lawyer specialized in regulation to be able to comment on it because um i mean red line's gone now right but i don't know if you guys have had a chance to have a look at the mika reg regulation right i mean forget articles right forget what even the eu on their website say okay about what you know mika is you need to go into the uh, documentation and the documentation is just huge and it's like a bible and if you're not you know legally specialized in um like stable coins and understanding it then you can't really comment on it no one can i can't you can't no one can and that's tough and, and that's where you hope that uh you know it's in stages right we establish ourselves because uh, that's the thing see with um with the usdc okay that um ceramic okay is uh you know developing right is uh, developed is he's ba he's done it in such a way that it could be made compliant yeah the, the plan is is to make it as you know so for instance say mika compliancy for instance okay i can imagine a future in which for you know we could get like if we could get legal counsel okay say well okay legal counsel we've looked at the regulation you need to do this 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 and this okay um we can do it that's the whole point of the new usdc whereas with the with the current usdc um we can't 
we just know we know enough now i mean we're not you know legal experts but we know enough now um i mean you know when ceramic says we can't do it i believe him right because of his experience right because of his history with usdc and so on and all the stuff that he knows already about stable coins um so you know it's uh yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, you know, I, I, but then hey. I see your point and, uh, and I respect that, you know, it's like, uh, um, yeah, if, if you have the experience and he knows all the relations that you have to follow, uh, what I was just trying to say is that two years ago, yeah, we we were talking about uh, about this and was a lot of money involved, a, lo a lot of uh, requirements, a lot of licenses, whatever. So it was going to cost a lot of yeah. money. But uh, people say that it was impo is impossible, is a lot of debt. So when we start all of this, what, two years and a half, almost three years now, yeah, uh, the debt was mm -hmm. around 10 billion. Today is what, seven point something, yeah? Uh, and from that, uh, we know that the the circulation supply is already what five point something uh, uh, billion, so we know that the, we almost cut the debt in half without doing absolutely nothing. So imagine if we do. So when people say that it's impossible to do anything on USTC, I think we are not even trying. So um, yeah, that that being said, your option that you <clears throat> that you guys are use, uh, doing, what Rexis is doing. Uh, Whatever the, the the groups that are trying to to create a stable coin for Luna Classic, I applaud it. I think it's a very very good effort. I hope that it works. At the same time, I still believe that we could do something uh, a tiny bit bigger if we can just focus and work together to to bring a uh, USCC back to our own life. And if not, at least uh, uh, activating the MM, the the market model somehow, you know, to make it work. Because if not. Uh, what is the chain itself you know just a platform for other stuff is many like that i think uh, we are losing our entity completely if we don't do anything regarding the market model but yeah thanks mate i agree with that vegas that's our unique selling point like again i'm part of jewish i want jewish to do well um l1s there's lots of l2s terraport i know you're building one and um, which is great but it's the USTC that could take us to like crazy market cap again. Um, L2s are great, it could help us, but layer one and especially USTC, that's a unique selling point. Uh, Rexy, you had your hand up. Uh, can you speak now? Yeah, hi there. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, we can. Don't give hey. me the bad news of Tottenham losing. I know you went to the game today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I met, um, I met one of our biggest kind of investors. He came all the way over from Norway. Um, so it's fantastic. It's the first time I've actually met somebody from the crypto space in the real world so absolutely fantastic and it was great to see him um not a nice stadium but we play well crap football <laughs> i'll tell you something the best thing about the part you know about the day was the stadium I and mean, it's absolutely fantastic isn't it eh? you know you wouldn't think they could just rip it apart and get it up and running just like that but uh yeah it was great to see a great team performing well unfortunately for you it wasn't tottenham <laughs> it switched it brilliant but you don't want to hear that do you <laughs> First win. Well, I'm a Tottenham fan as well, so I don't want to hear that either. Actually, <laughs> oh, nice, that's good, man. We've got a fellow Tottenham fan. Usually, just, just, when my, just when my hopes start to raise, they get crushed down again. <sighs> yeah, beaten by bottom of the league. There you go. But um, no, but Ipswich deserved to win. It was yeah, um, yeah, it was a good day out. Anyway, there we go. So yeah, so I've, I've been listening to this on the train on the way back um it's about an hour and a half to kind of journey on the train for us plus an hour and a half driving and um i you know i've seen more rugs than that train with this space is going than what there is in dunno mill um so you know i've kind of heard bits and bobs across the last hour and a half but you know not not kind of flowing let's put it that way um so yeah so i've just kind of pulled up in the car and uh, i kind of wanted to ask a few things and it's uh yeah, it's been interesting to hear the contributions from everybody and um, I guess kind of picking up on a few things that, that Vegas has identified. Um, and I guess these are queries and I think with this, what can you call it, like uh, semi-theory white paper that's come out, I think it's maybe setting some ideas, but there's a lot of detail to be delivered as yet and I think that's, that's kind of recognised, which is fair enough. Um, some things that, I guess I would want a better understanding of is it seems to me that if we're effectively going to create a new L1 token, then that kind of necessitates maybe the need for more of a centralized team or chain 
to be able to get things like this registered and agreed with sexes and that that would be a big difference for us so how would we end up going about that i guess the next next query i'd have is okay i mean i i helped kind of pull together a, a team to work on this for about nine months and they made a, a massive amount of progress towards it how would we a very different focus and the focus wasn't to repeg ustc the focus was to return value to terra classic and what i mean by that is we thought that the um the defining element of terra classic was the market module and the relationship between lunk and ustc and to make that work you needed a number of things you needed the market module to work and be safe but you needed to have demand as well. So part of the project from a wider element was creating some demand. So we've got Juris and Sleening coming online and Terraport's been up and running for a while there. And then hopefully would help to rebuild what was considered the Trinity in Luna One, which helped drive demand, you know, when they had um, Anchor, Mirror and Astroport there. Um, but the other element to that is in terms of that relationship of getting the market module up and running and what i wanted to know was this we're going to change in theory ustc into usty okay and then create a new ustc starting from let's say zero market cap and gradually building up as demand comes in um is there going to be some kind of relationship between that new new ustc and the market module and lunk are they, are they going to be working together or are we talking about if you like two completely separate stable coins and lunk working independently well you've got like i mean i mean like you know the new usdc right okay um you know the the link between lunk um is just as strong right because um you know you'll be able to um you know so you need lunk okay you you stake lunk you stake lunk you get um usty right you stake lunk um you get ustc as well okay so um if you want ustc you need lunk yeah so the link there um is i would say you know just as strong okay um you know that it was uh with you know luna and um ustc but from a different element right because then you know lunk was a luna sorry and uh ustc they were you know they were fundamental parts of the uh, market module yeah? um you know this is a different solution right this is based on uh you know collateral right it's not based on um you know price movement yeah so um you know to answer your question right okay you know the relationship's still there you know it's um you know it's if anything it's at worst it's the same at best it's stronger right because you know if the demand for the new usdc increases and i think there is demand there because you know this is defi right okay and um you know, wouldn't it be great, okay, if we were the only stable coin that was actually decentralized, truly decentralized? It doesn't matter whether exchanges take it or not immediately on day one, but if we had, um, you know, um, a stable coin that is truly decentralized, yeah, not owned by anybody, okay, then, you know, I'm pretty sure it's only a matter of time, okay, before, you know, all it takes is one exchange to take it and then the others follow. So, um, so yeah so i hope that answers your question right it's it's you know the link still stays there with uh a new stc okay um as it did with the old one okay so i think vega kind of pointed out um on his last reply um maybe i'm misunderstanding this is uh so if there's going to be a new ustc let's call it ustc2 just for the sake of understanding yeah, go on. So USTC1 yeah. will become USTY. I think that's correct. Yeah. And then US there'll be a new USTC2, if you like. Yeah. Um, but for that to get registered within exchanges and to pass all the tests and everything that's needed, I think there'll probably need to be a centralized team to run it. So if that's the case, 
will it really be a decentralized stable well coin? well you know that's that's a good question right i mean i mean i i just look at um like um if i look at um if i look at you know the uh you know the uh, stable coin on uh you know the c zodiac ecosystem yeah so cz us you cz i get confused with the letters now you know cz usd right okay i mean that's a stable coin okay um you know and um that doesn't need a team to run it i mean there are people around it yeah but it's not like you need uh you know you need people around it to work on it and so on but you know what's the team and what's even if it's decentralized right okay you still need a team anyway right what are you saying you're saying that that the team needs to be what in a registered location as a registered company is that what you're saying uh i mean it's more of a question really but my understanding is to register onto something like binance you need to have a centralized entity to do all that kind of stuff um that was in terms of okay so in terms of enabling terraport to operate we've had to make lots of contracts well not that but let me rephrase that um we've had to make contracts with different organizations and a company that i set up was built to enable them contracts to be made so terra vita helps deliver this but it doesn't own terraport it has no rights to terraport whatsoever in effect you know think of it like a service company okay so terra users own terraport um all terra c vita does is basically help settle the bills to make it kind of viable so so that is kind of getting over um i guess my experience in terms of whether you want to deal with mechs or whether you want to deal with um oh crikey uh cmc or whether it's coin gecko or lots of you need a registered company to actually be registered now that's my experience it's maybe not everybody's experience and i understand that you know binance occasionally will list something on the basis of public opinion and i guess pure marketing value however i don't know whether they are still liaising with a central entity or not okay well i guess my response to that right is i mean if you if you follow through on what you know ceramics planning right um you know for USTC or USTC two, should I say, to become a thing? Okay, people to be able to, you know, have it, they have to uh, USTC one. Okay, it needs to hit a dollar. So, um, it's like I said earlier, right? It's like so you could be in a, in a scenario where, for instance, uh, you'll have, you know, two um, two stable coins, right? You know, if UST one hits a dollar okay in which you know the sex the exchange has got an option right i mean for instance right okay they're currently listing ustc today so if ustc hits a dollar then great i mean it's like you know all it is is a is a ticker change right okay um then if you know there are you know hoops or legislation that you need to go through okay with the exchange then you would work with the exchange right okay uh but ultimately um you know if they decided not to list it which i don't think they would because ultimately okay everything revolves around profit and money and you know this is a very lucrative opportunity for the exchange as well as it is for the investor okay so you know money makes the world go round right i think that in itself um is a big incentive in itself but if for regulation reasons they don't want to do it then you know they still have USTC, right? USDC, USD, what is still the same thing? Uh, so, uh, quick question: uh, What if if uh, the USDC one, the actual one, the the, the one we have now, uh, goes yeah. above one dollar? How are we gonna bring it down again? Because it can be explodes and makes ten dollars, and then you can't actually control it. Mm, that's an interesting question actually what happens if us yeah because it's not because yeah because you're right because you know it's not a stable coin <laughs> it's not a stable coin right it's nothing it's debris but if that debris recovers okay and it hits say ten dollars instead of one dollar what does that do 
Um, you could mint USCC token, right? If I read the white paper correctly, you could mint USCC token to burn Lung. You could. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Burn, yeah, yeah. You, you could use it to. Yeah, you, yeah. There's five. There's five different options I think yeah. you could do with it. Yeah, yeah. Correct. Um, right. Cool, um, Leonardo. I know we've been going for two hours. Can you take a couple more questions? I can see Luna Classic, uh, Luna Classic Node, and uh, Stratcore just joined, and then we'll we'll finish off in ten fifteen minutes. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, no problem. Cool, uh, Stratcore, you're first, and then we'll go to Luna Classic. Good evening. Um, yeah, sorry, I didn't hear a lot of the space because I just came back, um, so I don't know if it was covered already. Um, so. Um, I had some, yeah, some um, back and forth with Ceramic today in the public group. And um, first of all, what I think is that it is not really a repack plan. It is just a new coin because um, the USTC, the current USTC would remain what it is. And until you reach a point where you have a collateralization of whatever 190 percent even if you can then start swapping ust y or the current ustc to the new one on a one-to-one -one basis this only is valid for the first swaps because immediately the collateralization will fall below the threshold so this is a pure option for those either with automatic uh automatic automatic capabilities to um, take favor of it but not of the current normal investor of the current USTC and with that I from my naive standpoint I see a big risk that as soon as such a thing like this would be passing that the holders that really uh, wait and uh, hope for a repack will immediately lose hope for that and abandon the USTC overall. That is uh, one of the point. And the second is that I don't think that you will be able to make an efficient collateralization management in a decentralized manner without any <coughs> um, controlling party um, due to all the things that is involved maybe even including fiat if that is a requirement then you will yeah you, you will have uh, big issues to even make it technically okay okay so um yeah i mean okay just following on for the i guess this the second point first because um it's Part of the proposal, right, okay, is in terms of the weighting of the different types of collaterals and so on, okay, that's something that can't be fixed anyway, right? That's something that's going to have to be changed. And that's something that uh, governance would have to, you know, like be involved in, in making that change, right? You don't stick with the same collateral forever. Um, I understand the point that you're saying, okay, with regards to, well, what if the requirement, okay, is uh, you have to have an element of... Um, you know, fear. I think with Mika, right? If I remember rightly, don't you have to have an element of Euro as well? I'm not sure as being part of the um, the mix. Um, I'm not sure, but I, th I think that might be the case. Yeah, um, I think it's one of those where uh, you know we have to. Um, you know, the objective of the proposal is a one dollar USDC new one self collateral stable coin, right? and um you know ceramics plan sorry yes yeah, ceramics plan okay is uh a way to get there now um whether people think they can you know if people think it, it, it can be done great if people can't think it can be done great it's a proposal right okay it's a proposal um it gets reviewed and um ultimately okay in fact it's not a proposal yet it's just half a white paper right okay but ultimately okay a proposal you know we're working towards a proposal we'll make a proposal uh we'll make it you know the community will review it if it passes it passes um you know if it doesn't it doesn't i mean you know me on a personal level right i'm happy in a way either way because i can walk away from this thinking well we gave it due diligence right because 
I would say, right, okay, if we can't do it, who else can do it? You know, we've had two and a half years now, right, of lots and lots of talk and no action. Okay, well, you know, we've come along with um, a plan, an idea, a timeline that we want to work to, okay, because we think we can do it. Um, if we can't do it, then I don't think anyone can. And if we can't do it, then we need to wise up to reality, right? And think, well, it's a non-option. You know, let's just move on. Yeah, it's not a tool that we have in our arsenal anymore. Um, so I think now, Straff, what, what did you say about point one? Sorry, could you just remind yeah, me again? Uh, on the, what on the what I mean is that, that people have the perception that it is a repack proposal, but in fact, it is not. It is, it is abandoning the current USTC from what the repack talks were it is creating a new one and the ustc uh, might or might not um, play a role in a later time of it but it is not a repack and people and at least from from how i read it um is that they expect a repack proposal that but how is it not a, but how is it but how is it not a strap but how is it not a repack right if, it is a new coin. It is yeah, not a repack of USTC. Right. It's a new coin, okay, that is only available, okay, through uh, USTC, through USTY, right? That's how you get it. So, you know, it's not a coin that's freely available on, on the market that people can just buy from an exchange. The only way to get it is through USTY. You know, so because the whole the whole ethos behind it is if we could, OK, we would just basically stick with the current USTC. Right. It's not an issue. That would be like fantastic for us. Right. But as a self collateralized stable coin. Right. You know, we'd have to self collateralize everything. Now, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if Straff, you know, right? I don't know how much, you know, how much USTC there is. That is just dead. That is just it. We're going to have to self collateralize stuff that we're never going to use. You know, and um, and so, the, you know, the, the rationale behind it is, OK, is you know, if we create a new stable coin. Yeah. OK. Yeah, you're right. It's not related to UST white directly. OK, but the only way to get it. Yeah. The only way to get it is if you, you know, own Lunk or, or if you own UST OK, then, you know, it's a bridge. Yeah, it's kind of a bridge. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to, you know, take sift through the wreckage take the value and put it into this stable coin because the community want a stable coin and this is a proposal for a stable coin you cannot because ust ustc today is not a stable coin right it's dead it's something that's yeah, it, it, it is but, but people expect that the repack plan is using ustc so what do you expect what would happen if you make a new stable Mm -hmm. which abandons really the future plans or hopes for a repack of the original USTC. Yeah, the original what, USTC. What do you think? Well, the original USTC is impossible. Okay, there's no, you know, there's no, I mean, if if anyone can repeg today's USTC, why haven't they done it yet? It's two and a half years now. Okay, what, we have to wait for another two and a half years? OK, for someone to be able to repeg that, um, you know, we've done a review, we've looked at it and for us, it's an impossibility. OK, so what's the next best? So what's the next best thing? The next best thing is we create a new stable coin, OK, which um, doesn't have any of the legacy, doesn't have any of the old stuff, OK, any of the old shit, the debris, OK, that, uh, you know, we currently have at, at the moment. But the only way to get that stable coin is by owning that debris. Yeah, so you take that debris, okay, that is never ever gonna hit a dollar, okay, and then you put it into something that is already a dollar, okay, but then as the collateral pool grows, okay, so more and more, uh, you know, will, will be minted. So over time, it's almost like a transitional effect because, um, you know, that's the reality. Of, you know, for, I mean, tell me if I'm wrong, Strath, right? But, you know, two and a half years, Okay, and there's no repeg, and there's no repeg on the horizon for it. Everything I've seen is just almost like, well, we can't do anything with it. This is our solution um, for, um, you know, for 
uh, you know, current USTC hold, it's never going to hit a dollar, <laughs> is what I'm saying. If you limit the buying of US of the new coin to LUNC and USTC, that would mean that you have an internal buy sell cycle which does not really involve much uh, capital inflow um, directly to the to the new coin. You would have to uh, kind of um, like people buy LUNC, they have to swap it to the new um, new one, and then you have to sell you LUNC again to get the collateral that you need for the pool. So that is not really something that would 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 really benefit the the overall ecosystem um, as far as I'm concerned. So you would need to be able to to swap it from from different tokens like BTC uh, wrapped or whatever wrapped. But for that, you would have to, uh, you would need to have um, such a huge demand that people are willing to bridge their assets over and that the bridges and relayers and whatever are created to even be able to do so. Um, so I really, yeah, I initially wanted to wait until the technical white papers out because I don't see any way to really do that in a way um, that technically could work. And that is why I was so kind of frustrated that this white paper or light paper was released because it only gives the hopes part but not the viability parts and that is kind of frustrating well it's the theory it gives a theory and that theory has actually changed Strath. yeah i mean that white paper right was what rev point one i think no rev two okay because uh you guys never got to see the first one because we we changed that uh before it was published okay well you know that um, you know, we've got a Commonwealth discussion, which is what, four or five days away. Um, that theory paper is going to change. I can tell you that now, okay, because from the feedback that we've had, uh, you know, from some parts of the community, and it's going to continue being changed until, okay, um, you know, the Commonwealth discussion finishes and then we move on to implementation, right? That's when, um, you know, that's the bit that you're interested in, right? The, the implementation bit. How are we going to take this theory? And how are you going to turn it into something practical? Well, you know, that's, uh, you know, that's, I guess, when the discussion starts. Now, um, you know, you've spoken to Ceramic, right? Did you go into this? I guess you never went into this level of detail, right? Because it's, it, it's not been defined yet, right? We haven't said what it is yet. So, um, you know, am, am I right? I mean, you know, you had a discussion with Ceramic, which is great, okay, because, um, you know, I mean, you're both people that I respect and stuff. I mean, what was the, how was the outcome of discussion? How, how did you feel that the, the discussion went? The thing is that he's not really known to, uh, uh, knowing the, the cosmos. He's just digging into the, the cosmos mm -hmm. stuff because he comes from EVM. So he's not really familiar with how, with how IBC bridging and all that stuff works. Um, and um, at least from how I understood it, he had a, um, he had the impression that it was far easier to do all the the bridging stuff and the contract stuff and and how it is is. And he also said he doesn't even imagine it has to be L one. It might also be L two, and it is. You know, you know how this community is. You release a white paper about. Uh, Yes, uh, named repack idea, repack plan, and you know how the news on that is uh, and the the hype that uh, comes from that. I know many people like it when 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 hype around uh, the chain happens, but um, for me it's always the big grain of salt that with a hype that might later turn out to be not what it was uh, hoped to be the downfall is even bigger than the hype was and so i rather like um things to yeah, be approached more cautious um and it, it kind of seems that from from the from the telegram posts i see um that this is again like some 
yeah, perception of USTC will be repacked and this is our time to fly and, and such stuff. And that is, yeah. yeah you're going to get that any, yeah, but you're going to get that anyway, right? Because I mean, we had the challenge, right? Okay. When we, you know, sat down and like put the timeline together, um, you know, we need community, you know, we need feedback from the community. So we figured, well, how are we going to do this? Okay. And it was a case of, right. Okay. What are we going to do this? We're going to, you know, we want input from the community. Okay, so we're going to publish the theory, we're going to discuss the theory, get the theory defined so it's as best as we can get it to whatever the community want. Then from the theory, we're going to move on to the implementation. They're going to discuss the implementation, we're going to get it to as best as we can, okay, to support the community, okay, what, what they want, you know, me being a member and stuff, and then it's going to go to a vote. And then, and then what we've done is going to go to a vote, and then the community can review it, you know, have a vote, and then it's either yes or no. If it's a no, we move on, right? If it's a yes, we build. Okay, but it's up to the community. Now, okay, we, we're not in a position, right? We're not in a position where we, we, could, we could have done everything now, and here's the white paper, you know, discuss it today. It's going to go to a vote next week. Yeah, we, we're not in that position. You know, and one of the reasons why we're not in that position, right? Okay, is resource. Yeah, everything we've done, okay, we've done ourselves, right, off our own back, spare time, whatever. You know, we've done it because we believe there's this potential in doing it. Okay, and um, it's you know we we don't have. I would say it's like you said, Strath, right? Okay, it's you know you'd like to have seen it. Okay as a complete unit yeah for you to review and so on right okay if we had the resource okay and if we had the you know if we had the uh that's what we'd be doing but we don't but also we want community input as well where do we get the where where do we get the community input from um you know if we don't speak about it now you know if people want to hype it great let them hype it right okay but that hype stops when it fails right when it fails, then it will be okay. Yeah, ceramics. Re yeah, okay. Yeah, ceramic. Yeah, he proposed something. Okay, and uh, it went through review and it failed. Okay, fine, it failed. Yeah. Then what? Then, then it's the next, the next. You know, one dollar repeg. Um, from what you're saying, okay, and and uh, you kind of agree with me in a way, right? Okay, it's. <clears throat> We have to come to terms with the fact that we're not going to be able to repeg today's one dollar USDC because it would have been done by now. But you know, like I mean, for instance, right? I got to say this, right? Okay, is you know when I you know when I published this on what the twenty eighth of September, okay, there were five different proposals being talked about in different groups on repegging USDC. Five, yeah, different. Okay, I've got here now. We've published. You know the point two rev of the white paper and nothing nothing yeah there's no there's talk about alternatives there's talk about different ideas and suggestions but there's nothing and i would argue that we've had two and a half years of this of just talk 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 and we're getting to a point now where we either do something or we acknowledge that it's not going to happen and move on leo can i bring our input yeah please do yeah go Look, yeah. Mark, yeah we'll take one question from you but we've got more people so after your one question we'll move to uh, the other people yeah it's just uh, a quick one yeah um why don't 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 we just keep we, we usdc as it is now and we make a new coin with a new name with the repack with on one dollar and then you don't have to make a USDC to USDY and etc. because it's going to be a new new coin anyway. And bring into this new paper a goal to bring USDC above one dollar and work on this too. I think this is going to be even more bullish. It's just uh, something that I think uh, can be pretty nice. Yeah, thanks. Okay. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it'd be good. It'd be awesome. Right. It'd be awesome. Um, I don't think we can do it. I mean, I don't think, okay, we can, okay. The option to repeg, 
you know, USTC. Okay, well, we can. Yeah, I think I think if we had like what I think it's like one point seven billion dollars to inject into it to make it into a self collateralized stable coin, we could do it if we had the money. Okay, but we don't have no, the money. Let me wrong. Uh, we make the or you or we or we because we are a community. Yeah. Yeah. We make the new token a collateral with one dollar, right? Whatever it calls. Well, it has to be self collateralized, right? So one dollar. Yes, yes, okay. agree, hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. 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 But yeah. then, then you have a one dollar token or coin, and that's working one dollar perfectly. And then the goal is then bring with this coin or token, USDC original one up, and then there is no limit for it. It can make ten dollars, as I said before. It can how, make hundred dollars or something like this. But how would you bring the how how would you bring the original one up though? From yeah, then you can buy back and burn, for example, or whatever. That it has to be discussed. It's just an opinion and a question. Why can instead of changing USTC to USTY and then opening a new USTC and etc., uh, just leave USTC where it is and help bring the price up? and make a new token or coin with the new name and then bring this to be stable at one dollar so long chain will have a one dollar coin to be used and usdc will keep as it is and will keep on growing you know that's just a question of of make sense to discuss this thing Okay, so you so yeah, so the yeah, so what you're saying is, okay, you create a new coin, okay, it's uh, yeah, that new coin is set at a dollar, so it's a stable coin, right? We we launch it and it stayed at a dollar, and then with the uh, USTC today, uh, we just keep it and let it grow in value, yeah, yeah, because it would be almost the same as USD, I, why, isn't it? yeah but then why would they want to yeah the okay the point with this proposal is um you would stake for instance okay there's an element in which you can stake USTCY, okay for us for the one dollar coin yeah so you would take your you know so there's a value in it so you know we would hope yeah, that can, people would then can. stake it and then that would increase the value of usty right yeah, you could do the same, but just uh, you don't have to rename everything all around, you know, and make people more confused. You know what I mean? Okay, so yeah, I, I hear what you're saying. Yeah, okay, okay, I, I hear what you're saying. I mean, okay, I mean, I, I, I just think that I, I just think that. See, the thing with 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 the new one dollar stable coin is the way it's constructed is there's an incentive okay if you are a USTC holder today to stake it yeah because if you stake it you'll earn you'll you'll get the new one dollar coin now you've got a use case there right for someone who you know they can carry on buying and selling and trading yeah they're US like it is at two cents today or they can stake it yeah, yeah and then when it hits the I don't want to interrupt you, but I think you misunderstand him. He means skip the renaming, keep USTC as USTC and create a new token with whatever name it is, because the renaming just causes confusion. Oh, that is what I he's see. saying. Okay, 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 okay. Got it. Yeah, yeah, thanks. So, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, thanks. For, so, okay, so what you're saying, okay, is keep everything the same but in but like okay yeah so for instance you could um so the new stable coin would be called something else not usdc right and you keep yeah, USDN, USDC. Uh, usd new for example yeah something yeah else. yeah okay that's really good feedback <laughs> that's good that's good i'll have to i'll have to discuss it with ceramic right i mean that's that's fantastic feedback because for me it's a stable coin it's a stable coin right and um yeah i can see the benefits of that because then that avoids confusion and just with my simplistic salesman head on right okay you want to avoid confusion where you can you want to avoid confusion wherever possible so 
that's some good feedback sorry can i can i ask who who you are please i'm Luke market yeah thanks <laughs> no okay just do me a favor right because do me a favor right and just dm me is that okay dm me yeah, so yeah. i don't forget of course i can do it so, yeah, on x so i don't i don't forget so i can follow up on it it's good yeah, to do it yeah thank you you're welcome yeah that was a really good question um luna classic node have you got a question okay um no questions so we've been going on for about two two hours and 20 minutes final words from rexy vegas stratcore before we let leonardo go yeah can you hear me again yes we can yeah it's uh it's been a really interesting conversation hasn't it and, um yeah i mean I, you know let's wait till we see this kind of technical paper come out i think there's been some really good um Kind of observations kind of raised and questions and things like that i know a lot of these questions that have been kind of raised to things that uh a team that i helped coordinate had kind of come to their own conclusions about however i think this this new team will have to come to their own uh, which is fair enough um there has been a massive amount of work done on this in the past and the t just to kind of add a bit of clarity to this um, a team that i'd helped kind of coordinate and, and pull together, they have made quite a bit of progress to a strategy to actually re-peg USTC. Um, however, what brought that to an end actually was the KYC proposal passing because there were some people on that and actually Ceramic came into that group towards the, towards the end after most of the, well, pretty much all the theory work had been done and it was at a testing level. Um, but some of the people that was involved in it, such as Iron Man, and Iron Man is somebody who had more experience with the chain than anybody else, and I think Strath would agree with that. Uh, certainly up to that point, anyway. Um, these people that they didn't want to be KYC, however, they were no. So, for instance, um, Professor, Assistant Professor Ed or Associate Professor Ed, you know, people I know him from the past, he'd been to visit Iron Man in reality, you know, shook his hand and stuff like that. So he's no um but it was to do with legislation fears of reprisals lots of other things like that so people at that point did not want to be kyc however to the team they were all no um there's only ceramic that wasn't and he wants to keep himself to himself for his own reasons which is fair enough um so that's what kind of brought that project to an end but the sex is created um there's tests done and there's a slightly different kind of philosophy to it and now i'm not saying that um, leonardo's philosophy isn't right and it could be a better philosophy the philosophy the team had that i was involved in was we wanted to bring a product to the community that as a strategy for repegging ustc as a byproduct of re-enabling the swaps mechanism to bring value to long okay because that's is what we saw as the the selling point of the Terra Classic ecosystem. And as part of that, the people that was working on it, they didn't want kudos, they didn't want recognition, glory, anything like that. They just wanted to know that they'd been part of a team that had helped solve a problem because it was about working for the community. We won't want after any fees or anything like that because we had our own bags and our bags were in lunk. And we thought if we can get the market module going, and we've got some USTC as well, then we'll be pumping our own bags as well as everybody else's. So it is about a community kind of initiative. But it was super, super careful about and conscious of was, and this is why we made an agreement amongst ourselves that we wouldn't publicize our work, um, was because we didn't want people pumping into a token like USTC on the hopes of a repack it wouldn't work we get people buying in late on who let's say the let's say there's buying into USTC now at what two and a half cents or whatever it is um and then they find out that actually this repack plan might not work you can have people that could lose a massive amount of money there and they brought in on some hopium um which okay you can argue and say everybody should do their own research but from our point of view, because so many people's lives have been through 
woes by creating extra kind of hoping that we couldn't deliver on. So that's why we wanted to present to the community a, you know, I'm struggling to hear you, Rex. Is it myself or everyone else as well? Can you guys hear Rex? Uh, seems to uh, have some issues yeah. with the microphone. Yeah. Yeah. Breaking Rex, in yeah, and I think out. You might have to come back. Yeah, can you hear me um, now? There was no. a question about you, Rex. Uh, about, there was a question for you about uh, about the Terra Casino. Is, is USTC being added to Terra Casino? It's uh, <laughs> that's a good question, isn't it? Um, Whilst well, on the USTC topic, yeah. So, do you know what? This is actually a bit of an odd one, but I don't know why we never did add it. Um, and you know, I actually can't give you a, a, an answer either. I can't say it was due to lack of volatility, sorry, too much volatility price or or what it was. But I think when I originally managed to get the casino on chain. I'd made a legal agreement with the uh, operations team, if you like, that they would burn lunk. And um, it was probably because I kind of held them to that legal agreement that that's why we ended up putting lunk in and, and burning that. But I don't know, maybe there's no reason why we can't have USTC there. Um, it adds a bit more of a use case to it, doesn't it? Um, so yeah, so I don't know. Um, I get there's a massive cost to actually putting tokens into the chain. So for instance, it's into the casino. So for instance, this last this last month, well, sorry, the last ten days of this month, we paid out more than four and a half million dollars worth of tokens. Um, now, if the casino don't wash its face, somebody has to pay for that. And you know, it doesn't take too much to work out who's going to pay for it. Um, but uh, you know, in the long term, casinos tend to be able to provide entertainment for a bit of a, you know, um, as a sustainable business model. So, you know, we may have USTC in the future. Um, I guess, I guess, what the casino would need to make that viable is it would need the commitment of the community to actually want to use that. Um, so I'll give you an example. So recently we made a um, we made an approach to Flocky about having a and I've, you know I've never mentioned this to anybody up to now, but we made an agreement with with the Flocky team that we'd kind of launch a casino to kind of help them, and as part of that, that would help bring a kind of volume to Lunk as well. However, after all the development was done the flocky team decided that actually they didn't want that and that comes at a massive cost you've got licensing all sorts to consider now if we want the community if we want USTC to be in there then I think you need a commitment from the US from the community that they will use USTC and they'll help market the casino and um, you know help with promotion it's you know if it was my, if there's a massive amount of volume with it, it I guess we could then use um like we'll do in terms of burning lump, we could then maybe burn USTC as well, I suppose. I mean, you know, it's I like to think the casino is a um kind of a community project, really. It's you know, we we kind of work to the richest the community. Cool. No, thanks for answering that, Rexy. Um, Vegas, track call, any final question? We'll let Leo go. I know he's been talking for two and a half hours. He's on well. I just want Anything. to add something. Uh, Lunk Market become a validator on Lunk. And guys, feel free to give me some delegations, please. <laughs> 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 okay, well, well, you came up with a good suggestion. We'll let you show. I mean, thanks, I'm not even sure my own project, Juris and the meme coins, but today I think it's dedicated to USDC. I know, so I know, I know. Just, just I won't show my project. Thanks. But you've made a good suggestion. So, guys, uh, 
people, if you're listening, go follow Leonardo, Lunk, Mark, here, Rexy, Vegas, everyone that's speaking. Um, we, we do ask, a lot. Can, can I make one point before I disappear, if that's okay? Yes, but, we'll give you the final words, Leo. We'll give you the final words. Um, uh, we appreciate your time. But yeah, go ahead. We'll, we'll let you have the final word. Yeah, um, all I was going to say, right, okay, is just the call to action for everyone here, right, okay, just following on from the idea that uh, was discussed, um, you know, a while ago, right, okay, if USTC stayed the same, what would you call the new collateral stablecoin? So would you call it USTC2? Would U you call it... USTN, USD new USD, like yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. Okay, just ask the community because um, I think it's a good idea, actually. I need to run it by ceramic and stuff, but um, I actually think it's a good idea. So I'm just wondering, okay, if we, you know, went down that road, what would you call it? I mean, you know, we'd have some suggestions as well, but it'd be good to get some community feedback as well. Um, yeah, and then the last thing, just to finish off the chat is, you know, thanks for hosting me. It's been two and a half hours. It's fair enough. I mean, you know, it, it's, I'm around. Um, I'm sure I'll be back, okay? Um, you know, as more detail is added, um, you know, to the, um, you know, to the proposal. Um, you know, thanks everyone for your support, efforts, and you know, comments and stuff. Right. Oh, thanks, Leo. And is it the, is this still the target for the twenty first for the detailed implementation? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's well, we we need a, yeah. The thing is, we need a timeline, right? I mean, I'm not one of the the world.